So everybody, on this day, 28 years ago, 1996, April 16th, <clears throat> a legend was born. A legend. Oh. He came out the womb with a full moisturized beard, Damn. with a brain full of just the music encyclopedia knowledge How'd in the whole that? entire world. Damn. If you guys are meet? confused who I'm talking about. Where we can meet him at? Where we can meet him. He's to my left. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Alex. Yeah. Both we fall on Twitter, on Instagram. <laughs> um, it's his birthday. Yay! Shout out to my guy, Thank man. You. That's how we getting right to it. We got Reggie. a lot to get into today. See you, but we had to start Thank with you. you. Thank yes. you, man. We had to start with us. We you had to start with love. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we're going to be talking about a lot of hate. We're going to be talking about a lot of people <laughs> yeah, who don't really of, fuck with each other like that. There's a lot of negative energy in this week's event. Yeah. So we want to start off yeah. positive. A lot going sure. on. I, well, I'll say this, man. I don't want any gifts from anyone. All right? You don't got to mail panties in a, in, at the post office. <laughs> not like last that. year. Not like last yeah, year. Not like last year. Okay. Right. You remember how that got. Yeah, yeah, you don't got to order me food because okay. hip hop has delivered. Mm. Yes. Hip hop was my Yeah. What a shit. week. What a week to yeah. lead up to your birthday and a lot happened. I know yeah. you truly love this shit. So yeah. to be a, a real music head. And to have the week we just had. What a perfect way to culminate it, right? Yes. Nice. Like, come on, man. Felt like nice. Christmas. Though. It did feel like Christmas. Felt like Christmas. Mm -hmm. It really Christmas. did. It really yeah. did. No, but like, uh, no. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> not the, not the, not that type of song. How are you feeling on your birthday? Wow. You know what? I did a lot of reflection today. Okay. Wow. I did a lot of reflection. I want to hear about that. Oh. Um, I love this type of shit. You know? Oh, no. You guys, just... you guys know I love talking about this shit. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm, cl I'm getting closer to 30 and I'm not scared about it. Mm. But I am embracing just being a different version of myself. Um, noticing things that I've grew out, grew out of love for. Like, like what? People? Uh, yeah, people. Oh. Yeah, people. Certain situations like. Habits? Yeah, my habits. Like these days, a lot of my habits uh, surround themselves around work or like my passions. Mm -hmm. I used to be outside though, <laughs> just for no reason. <laughs> just for no reason. I mean, no you're, reason. Stu you're still tapped yeah, in, I'm still but tapped. like we used to be like, we used to go yeah. out all the, time, all the time, just drink, party, and now we're just like, I'm good. I'm like, good. No, that's y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, Yo, right, say, well, I'm having his like second like resurgence of outside. Nigga, no, that's thirty. Come on, no, 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 no. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. Cool. When you hit thirty, bro, yeah. it like resets. Oh shit! I don't know. Yeah. I don't Life I, resets, bro. I, I'm, I'm yeah. so dead ass. Like, everyone, everyone says that at thirty, you're, yeah. you do your re, you know, going out stuff, but like. Mm -hmm. With like grown and with money, like the redo. But me, I don't think I'll be like that because I definitely scratched that itch like in college in my early twenties. Well, I don't you're know. You're in love though. I don't know if I need a. We go outside. It together. changes. It you changes when you're in love. I don't know if I'll be outside again at thirty. Well, I don't know. You know what it is? It's selective outside, and then we actually are doing pretty okay. Like, yeah. thank God, we're doing alright. So thank the outside God. feels a little bit different. It, really, oh, yeah. it doesn't feel like early 20 outside. More like, convenience. A little bit more convenience. Yeah. Not, a little bit more strategic. Like it's not thirsty outside. Yeah, I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's not struggling outside. Yeah. No, it's no struggle. It's a choice to be outside. Like when you're younger, like when I first <laughs> met Alex, yeah. We were like, we had no choice. Like we just was doing it just to do it. Yeah. But now we had to be toxic, yeah. right? Wait, what? I'm not agreeing to that. Oh, no. right. well, you know what it is? I'll be honest, bro. <laughs> What's up? Today is BBL day. What? The what fact you that your I birthday falls on BBL day, bro. Can we give you a round of applause? Please, round ladies and gentlemen, give, give him a round of applause. Wait, it round is of applause. fucking BBL day. Oh, like officially? On Alex. Alex, you were the only brother who could bring all these BBLs to light. Yes, what? Celebrating Wait. the BBLs. Just the energy. Is, is this national BBL day? Happy cake day, bro. Well, it's actually national pizza day. That's why we got just some pizza. I just Thank don't you. know what Savon is telling the truth about right now. Like, But it, no. Well, Rick Ross told us every, it's BB, <laughs> nigga, you BBL, oh. like it's BBL day. Oh, you going hip hop. <laughs> oh. Well, that's where you wanted to start. Oh, okay. So yeah. I figured we would start with BBL. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought it was actually National BBL day. They'd be having everything. They'd be like, oh, it's National Cheesecake Day. Like, they nah, just nah, do nah, everything. Nah, nah. You're just referring to how, uh, how good these guys control on the internet, huh? No, I'm just happy yeah. to know that your birthday and like your month <laughs> is yeah. synonymous with BBL. It's not. I think it's very it's fitting. It's not. I really hey, believe so. People that share my birthday, uh, Chance the Rapper, he going through a divorce. Oh my okay. gosh. Uh, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Belichick, he a winner and a loser. <laughs> uh, yeah. Shout out to all the no April BBLs. Ladies. None, none of those people have BBLs. Mm -hmm. We don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. You right? We don't know that. <laughs> we didn't you know right. a lot of people had BBLs, right. man. I'm all not right. gonna lie to y'all. I am not gonna lie. Uh, Reggie, yes, you smell good. Thank you. Like, Reggie smell like a fresh spring day. Oh, thanks, guys. She smell like a fresh Mexican beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pun intended. Like, yeah. She doesn't yeah. smell people, anything like spring. People listening to that without context are probably like, what the fuck is, did he like, just say? Hey, what is he talking about? Mexico. Yes, guys. I've been doing shit all month because just like Alex, you know, we talked about you enough. 
Thank you. So my birthday. <laughs> that was for me. You're right. No, you're right. You're my right. birthday is in 12 days. <laughs> Everybody, hey. mark your calendars. We're partying all weekend long. Everybody's. If you're listening to this podcast, you're invited to my birthday party. I don't care. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> just offer like shit. You know why? Because Better be careful. Reggie be the first person lit at her event, <laughs> and she's be like, "Who the <laughs> fuck is this? Yeah, nah. Have I done that? I've yes. done that for sure. Absolutely. Yo, for at my sure. house party, the the for first sure. year we started partying together, my 25th. The you know the apartment yeah, party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know half the people in there. Yeah, no, were you would that was really a vibe. Oh, but ne- now that <laughs> Alex was saying we're grown and sexy now. Yeah, it's a little I'm gonna different. have security at my birthday party this year. Fire, fire. Okay, but shout out to our on our Twitter community if you're listening to this. Yeah, um, put it on the timeline to pressure me to invite you. There we go. I'm not mad at that. So April 28th is my official birthday. And wait, why did I bring this up? Oh, April, I've been doing mad shit. The yeah. North Carolina trip. And I just went to Mexico with my girls because one thing about me, I'm going to go on a girl's trip. Nah, that's for sure. And I just got back last night and here I am. Pie. I had no idea. So, all right. Yeah, y'all need to hear this. I hit the group chat. <laughs> no, y'all need to hear this. No, I don't know who y'all should hear no, it from. Like, like, I'm not even going, but y'all I'm need not to even going crazy. <laughs> Bro, so over the weekend, the world literally, <laughs> like World War Three just happened in my our person. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, Drake. I cannot. And the first thing that I do whenever I get news, I bring it to y'all. It's right? true. Like, yeah, whenever yeah, I hear yeah. anything, I'm like, yo, we got to throw in the group chat. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually pretty adorable. It's going down. I'm like, yeah. holy fuck, right? Yeah. And so everything's happening. And y'all are actually, y'all are like really quiet. Yeah, <laughs> y'all it was not really, that. Yeah. Y'all are really quiet. What made me feel. Summer's off. Like a bitch. <laughs> Wait, oh what? Do I got to be all that? You know what's funny? It was actually my mother's birthday as well. Shout you guys out have to such mom. close birthday. Yeah, we have close Aww. birthday. So Shout I was kind of tapped out. That's so, cute. so salute to you for keeping us updated yeah. and things in the It's usually the opposite. Yeah. It's, they want it. it's very opposite. But this is one of those moments where you're going to remember where you were yeah. when you heard the diss track. You're going to remember who you discussed. Like, this is just one of those things where it captures time. Yeah. For sure. Right? So whenever there's a moment that captures time, I'm really on point with that. Mm-hmm. Right? I really don't want those moments to escape me, especially because we do what we do. Right? That's we go on these right. cameras. We talk. People actually give a fuck about what we have to say. So it's like, all right, bet. Let me be invested. And I'm also a fan. Like, we oh, have dude. been waiting. I don't... <laughs> We have been waiting for this. This yeah, is we like actually, yeah, the we Marvel Studio script writers of starting <laughs> something in 2009 yeah. and having a whole fucking trilogies yes. and, 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 and crossover. Yes. Like everything. Remakes. It's here. Everything. So I'm just excited to talk to my people. That's all I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my people ain't talked to me this week. No, so, no, no, don't do yeah. that. I'm ready to pot. I'm like, yo, need guys, to we just got this at home set up. Yo, we about to get lit. I can't wait till y'all hear this. <laughs> So I hit the chat like, yo, let's let's pod. And I was like, I'm in the middle of a boat no, in the fucking ocean. No, 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 no. Settle down, Reggie. Settle Oh, yeah, down. I didn't say in the chat. You didn't say a goddamn thing. So I'm like, wait. <laughs> she was on a is boat. Is she okay? Now, I know she's a lover girl, so maybe she's in love. Maybe she's with her boo. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. I know she likes to travel a little bit. She go to Connecticut. Uh, when I say travel for Reggie, I mean just going state lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking then borders. You a, then you just a recon and realize her boyfriend wasn't around. And then I saw John. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. oh, John's invested in this too. Yeah. Oh, he was tweeting on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. invested in it too. So that <laughs> told me, huh. Like he's probably chilling by himself, being wholesome. Something's off with Reggie and John. Now. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like creating <laughs> friction in his head. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, bro, bro. Guys, this is massive to me. Uh, yeah, and that's... I know it's massive to her, bro. Yeah. She's a fucking writer, editor, hip. For she, sure. It, y'all are hip hop. I, I. Now, now you hip hop too. No, I am hip hop. Yeah. Like hop. Nah, I'm hop. <laughs> <laughs> like we, that was like, so like silly. Like, like, like when we come together, uh, yeah. we make hip hop. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. nah, you're right. Are you saying it. you're hip and he's hot? He's hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we, you ain't hit him. He, he said it was nah, a wee. So cute. Uh, <laughs> stupid. So stupid. I'm in the group chat. I'm like, I yeah. know, I know these niggas about to hit me back. Ah, oh, shit. I'm getting all the leaks early too. So yeah. I'm, I'm feeding them yes, to niggas. Is. I'm like, oh shit. Hold he, up. He he's like, yo, they could. They're not gonna believe I got this. He getting the CDQ versions of the leaks. So I'm I'm waiting for my people, right? And I realized John is tweeting, and I'm like, damn, Reggie, quiet. I don't know what's going on in paradise, but fuck it, it ain't my business. Yeah. So then Alex, I hear Alex, and I'm like, hey man, I, I think we should like get some content going, bro. Like, yeah. and y'all know I'm HR, so what I said. <laughs> Alex is like, all right, buddy, settle down. Yeah. Let's let's establish some work life balance, come on. <laughs> Today is my mother's birthday. <laughs> And Reggie is in Mexico. With my girls on I'm a boat. I'm like, what the fuck? 
bro, I had no idea. But I told you to do a little Patreon, little solo reaction thing. No, this feels better. But if I'm hot, remember last time he left us. You, if I'm hot, you almost beat that nigga. Up. Yeah, <laughs> like this. Is, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it yeah. without y'all. This is gonna be hot. So I'm like, I had you know, a flashback of that. I, was, but, uh, I didn't want to. Yeah, I don't like one thing about me, Reggie. I don't like to make the same mistakes twice. Right. So I oh, wasn't gonna do stop. an emergency. You're reopening pod. my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, Yo, the for, the, for, the, for the new listeners, he's referencing when the Will Smith slap happened. And Savon just, he was like, Oh, do you guys want to do an emergency pod? And me and Alex were like, Sorry, we're busy. He just dropped the pod without us. This nigga called four people like, yeah. <laughs> He dropped the pod without yeah. us, guys. But we're over it now. Shout we're a family. Shout out to and um, all the people that, and Natalie, right? Shout Natalie, out to and those beautiful and, uh, people. Anthony Moore. Yeah. That episode was great, Anthony but he, Moore, just, yeah. he just bought it without us. Like. <laughs> he just called he just called niggas up like, yeah, yo, these niggas ain't really trying to talk. What y'all on? Pull up. No, <laughs> so, and he like dropped it. Like, <laughs> nah, I dropped the hell out of it. I had <laughs> clips. Yo, yeah. that nigga dropped it the <laughs> next day. Clips. I had mad social he clips was like, He that. was like, yo, Pete, what you doing? Pull up. All your cameras. I need all of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pete was an accomplice. Crazy. We don't we don't talk about that enough. Nah, yeah. I was I was coerced into it. He was. Coerced. He was. Nigga, you still on parole on mine. I made it through him like extra money on that. <laughs> Just to show up, nigga, yeah. Off the top, nigga. Don't say Yo, take nothing. that to the side. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. this weekend, man, the the hip hop world it, it broke. Shit just went, went crazy. It definitely broke. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's kind of split and divided, right? The whole hip hop industry. Yeah, okay. for sure. And it's kind of bothering me a little bit. And I wanted to start here. We can get into all other shit. As a music fan, mm -hmm. I'm realizing that there aren't that many music fans. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Oh. Not a bad thing. I get it. We, you know, we all like what we like. But just to see um, all the vitriol set online, Ooh, if you were, thank you, thank you, sister. <laughs> if you were a Cole supporter, if you were a Kendrick supporter, or if you were a Drake supporter, everybody taking this shit so personally. And I thought it Are was I, like, what? what? No, okay, yeah. like what? Yo, yo, I was in the middle of the ocean. I didn't see any nah, freaking yeah. reactions. I was tweeting things. I was just tweeting things that I noticed. Me writer, Dick <laughs> writer. I'm like, whoa. Oh, why y'all play about Dick so much? It made me sit down and go. Well, not on dick, but it made me sit down. <laughs> yeah, had to had to highlight that. It made me sit down and go, wait. I thought everybody was just hyped that hip hop is back. Yeah, right. I, I get like, I get choosing a side. Yeah, 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 I get yeah. you like who you like. I understand mm -hmm. it yeah. for but sure. For sure. Why is that? Yeah, because you're like, are are we all just like enjoying this back yeah, and forth? Yeah. Why yeah, does yeah. why does it have to be a dick rider? Why does it have to be this and that? Before we even get into like the dick riders of the show, I want to <laughs> intro this thing. I go by the name Savon. It is the Need to Know podcast, all right? Yeah. And like Alex said, I mean, I'm sorry, like Reggie said, yeah. it's my good brother's birthday. Yeah, thank y'all, man. It's your boy A, the Paco Rabone Poppy. I heard some people ask me, what does that mean? <laughs> Never alone, always with the posse. That's just my scent, man. Reggie, what's up? Hello, guys. It's me, Reggie. And I have to address the elephant in the room. We have a new setup, guys. If, hey. you're, if you're wondering why it looks like a fucking hookah lounge in here, <laughs> it's vibey in here. Please check our um, YouTube. We have a new setup. We all have our individual chairs because Savon did not want to sit on the couch with me anymore. Yeah. Brought to you by yours truly. I, I was waiting for the mint. I was waiting for the blueberry. I was waiting for all that shit. Like, I need the hookah right in the middle. Otra vez. You feel me? Oh, See, I see. Get okay. Get okay. Oh, oh, man. Man. Wait, it's been Shit. like, we've been potting for like Sorry. 10 minutes. No one mentioned my cool sweater. You know Wait. what? Yo, that shit is fire, <laughs> nah, that shit, bro. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Nah, yo, hey, you see that shit? Nah, it could fit me. <laughs> now you guys are. I thought no, it was nah, for real. Nah, 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 I'm gonna steal it if it could fit me. <laughs> look at the <laughs> color palette and look how it brings out like the highlights and shit. Look and at you just saying shit. Yeah, the color palette. Yeah, that nigga, the color scheme. Look yes. at the color scheme on the palette. <laughs> okay, enough. Just, it has the whole setting <laughs> contrast. Yeah, he just saying shit. Y'all made your point. No, for yeah. real. It did that. <laughs> nah, you guys. look great as always, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. And I was looking really good when my girl was on in Mexico, but I am back and we're ready to pod about this week. When you were in Mexico, what did you hear about all of this hip hop stuff? Honestly, okay, I knew Nothing. I knew it was really? happening, but honestly, one thing about me, I like I love like unplugging and just like enjoying my right. vacations. You chose the so wrong weekend. I was very I, I was very aware <laughs> this was happening, but literally I was in the middle of the ocean when this shit dropped and I was like I, I literally saw Sam on the group chat, I was like, whatever. And then, <laughs> and then, I, <laughs> and then I threw my phone Fuck in the ocean and then I just like started and then playing Bryson Taylor Calypso. <laughs> See, look, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. Like, I can't. How can you hate on that? Like, you can't. I, I can't. I'm being honest. No, but now I, I know my that. opinions are very honest because I didn't see any of the Twitter reactions, what mm -hmm. people were saying. Right. So these are my raw thoughts. A lot of the early thoughts, we had a ton of conversation online about AI, right, Savon? Mm-hmm. And uh, 
maybe how it was taken away from the momentum for some people. Yeah, for sure. So let's 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 start with the timeline, right? Yeah. yeah. Anybody who doesn't know, uh, most people who's listening to this podcast, I'm sure you're familiar with hip hop and all that shit. Drake finally responded to 18 niggas people, <laughs> like a thousand. 20 v one. Like he said 20 v one. That's what it felt like. Yo, he addressed everybody. All the songs. Like, legit. All legit. the songs he said. This made me laugh. He was like, this is 20 versus one. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he said, what the fuck? <laughs> like, there was a lot Shit of quotables crazy. from this. this and it, and the song is called Push Up, right? I think it's yeah, called Push Up. Uh, Drop and Give Me 50. I like By that Drake, title. I, I like it too. I like everything about like, it, honestly. Yeah. Play, honestly. play on and words. Mm -hmm. in the moment. Mm -hmm. Before we even get into like the actual breakdown of this, I just want to go on record. And I just want to say... Drake is just better than everyone. Wait, wait. like <laughs> oh, oh, this is what we're going to do. This that's just really what as it comes artist. down to. He is just better like, as an artist. Yeah, not as a man. I don't know what that means. This, this might be yeah. happening because he's not better as a man because everyone's fucking mad at mad at him. So I, I didn't really mean as a man. I meant like as a rapper and artist, right? He, yes, I will say that's what you're he's saying? just like. Yeah. I, I really just want to start there. Like he's and and it's okay for me to admit it. It's okay for everybody else to admit it. Like what, it's, what's going on? He is just better. <laughs> admit what? And not better. It makes sense. Everything it makes sense. is better when he is on a song. Oh, that's trying. Yeah. I love Drake, but y'all are trying to make me raise my blood pressure. Not, are you saying that as if there's just no room for competition? I'm saying like, all right. Yeah. Like, and, what are you saying? In the history of this podcast, you know where yeah. I stand when it comes to Drake and Pusha T in particular. Yeah, right? you fuck with Push. I'm a Pusha T fan. I think Pusha T killed him. I was champion Pusha T, and I will continue to champion Pusha T because I believe he is one of the elite MCs, artists of our generation. He doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion. I really, yeah. I appreciate his approach to the game. Like Pusha T is that guy to me. Yeah. But I can also look at Drake and say, oh, everybody hates him. Yeah, now sure, he may have done a lot of fuck shit, and we'll get to the fuck shit because Rick Ross addressed some of the fuck shit. Uh, the weekend, all of these people can't be mad at you. Like, you can't be the common denominator in hate and not do some foul shit. So, I can acknowledge that. But then sometimes things and people are just undeniable. And when I hear Drake, he just makes everything better now when i get into that because i know we're going to go a million different places but the first thing that allows me to say that so fucking Call confidently a Drake a no, just, a like literally <laughs> he just makes everything better he's like hot sauce he's like, oh. whatever you want to put whatever condiment you like to put on your food is what he is right like my brothers they love barbecue sauce he's barbecue sauce to some people he's hot sauce to others and and other artists have utilized him in that way right like everybody he's beefing with has utilized him in that literally, way and we'll get crazy. yeah my first thought was like how is everyone okay not how is everyone coming for him but his point i knew he was gonna br bring it up and he's like yo i put all of you like at the top of the charts i knew he was gonna bring that up it's, it's true it's a valid point but mm -hmm. when i say he's better than everyone i simply say that because he is probably the only person who can beat ghostwriting allegations like he legit, it's been proven that he has writers and ghostwriters. So you want to know what makes it a little bit different for me on the ghostwriting thing? I think it's hard to really, I think it's hard for the general public to really gauge him because he also makes songs like Hotline Bling. He's also made a lot of pop records, right? He has a lot of records where he's singing on it, right? Mm -hmm. And we all know pop stars to get reference tracks. We know pop for stars sure. to get this shit written for. So I think that's where the line gets so muddy. Where but like, we've, we've actually heard yeah. bars be recorded that he's recited Line oh, for line. Shit. Right. Right? Like, it hasn't just been hooks. I don't think he fully beat the allegations, though. Of course he's successful. Like, look, he sold out his tour and mm -hmm. all that shit. But, he's successful, but it's like, people will always bring that up. Yes. Even yeah. the, even the uh, Quinn Miller, right? Yeah. For sure. Right? Th that song wasn't not one of the timestamp records, right? No. It, it wasn't one of the bar, bar records, right? For sure. I think that's where a lot of the fans kind of get confused. They go, you know what? The songs where they've, they've caught him with the ghostwriting... Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're along the lines of a singing song. But I think if anybody yeah. else has those type of allegations, regardless of where the 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 lyrics placement was, where really? it's quote unquote ghost written, I think they would take a bigger hit. But I think when you hear the reference track and then you hear Drake, it almost gives day. him more credence yeah. to how great he is because these reference tracks would be ass mm -hmm. sure. if the actual artist or cool. writer yeah. cool. kept them yeah right yep. and so that's when I, I like i was driving here today and i'm listening to his diss track mm -hmm. and it's on repeat i listened to it at least no lie 1200 times yo same z's legit like i've just been listening it's just a to better it. song like it's, it's just a, a better song it's a great song yeah. everything he's saying it, it sounds good 
And that's what it just comes down to with Drake. Damn. Everything he does just sounds good. Drake fans going to so hate And so if I take the approach of like trying to analyze this whole beef or whatever you want to call it, now obviously we got to wait for Kendrick. But just saying and being honest with myself as a fan of music and hip hop, whatever you want to call it, like he's just better. I, he's just better. He's just better. That's subjective. So I mean, that's also not the only thing. I don't know thing. if it's subjective, bro. Super subjective. Is like it? if it sounds, but you said he makes everything sound better. Even if this song sounded better, but Kendrick clearly had like better bars. I'm not saying he did, but if someone mm -hmm. had better bars, that would be way more important in rap beef. Right. Because if you're going off of accolades and what's been collected, mm -hmm. you got to put Kendrick above him. Right. So that's why I'm asking, like, what do you mean by like, I get it. Like maybe how he gets on the track and the diss track. Mm hmm. Out of ten, rate it. Ten. I don't. I don't want to say it. <laughs> really? I don't know if I would give it a ten know. out of ten. Okay, nine out of ten. I think that gets very like technical, right? Because yeah. then you got to compare it to like historical diss tracks, right? Sure. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I just give it in this present moment, I'm gonna give it a strong eight. I'm gonna give it a, a very strong eight. Really? Personally, um, because. Yeah, I think he addressed everybody he needed to address in a manner in which he felt was necessary. I think he revealed some things. I think he had uh, entendres. Okay. Um, I think whenever you hear a song and you have to listen to it multiple times and you still continue to catch new things in that song, yeah. I think that's one of the whole superpowers, right? Like That's why For people sure. revere Jay-Z the way that they do because like, oh my God, I get something new every time I listen to a Jay-Z track. Yeah. So for somebody to do that on a diss track, and like literally peel back layers on it in that way, I I got it. I, I score that high. I have no horse in this race. I want to be very clear because I already know how people feel. They feel very deeply about who they love. I got love for everybody. I got love for Kendrick. I got love for Cole. I don't know. Your, your love on uh, <laughs> your layaway. It's fine. So, we don't need you, Alex. All right, my fault, Reg. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie loving you enough, nigga. Um, and I got and I got love for Kendrick. I think this is one of these occurrences where. Drake probably should have made two diss tracks. Mm. One for the addressing the field and one going at Kendrick. And uh, again, I think he rapped really well on it. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I wasn't in love with it, but he had, he had some slick ass bars that I really, really liked. I ain't gonna lie. Like the drop him and give me 50, that was funny. Yeah. yeah. We, we've mm -hmm. seen video of Kendrick dropping in the park. Doing blurbies, doing push ups, that's funny. He's also an entendre of, you know, when you drop on TDE, mm -hmm. top gonna take 50. That was super cool. I fuck with all of that. There were some slick lines on it, but for me, it wasn't enough future and Kendrick. And that's not his fault. It's because he had to go at everybody else, right? Like, damn, nigga, what he says? 20 V1. I think this is really one of these occurrences where, you know what, you could have had one diss track for all of them, and I'm gonna I'm keep, it, keep it a buck with y'all. I would have been okay with that. Like, if they had responded back to him numerous amounts of times, mm -hmm. but he put that one out just for all of them over there, I would have been cool if he didn't respond back. That way, it doesn't take the attention away from Kendrick. Why do I say that? We see how Rick Ross has uh, stepped into the battle. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Rick Ross. Shout out, we, we love Rose, right? And uh, I wish Drake would have did that flow. Mm. That sicko mode flow that everybody loves, that first person shooter that Drake has developed into, I hate that flow. Wait, should we, the, wait, should we play flow? some of the song? Yeah, we could play some of that song. All right, let's play, let's play some. Let's play a little bit. Shot the who, kid. Serious, what up? So the first line. This don't like, feel like sicko mode? I'm so tired of this. Wait, flow. what? What's the flow? Like Hold this what, vibe. What's like this, yeah, we'll talk about it. Let me hear it. Hey. I could never be nobody number one fan. Future. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. He's that that's true. I'm the hit maker that y'all depend on. Because who else is making hits like him? Who? And also, I, I want to bring this point out to people because I seen somebody tweet this and I don't want to take credit for it. But uh, I'll read the, the tweet verbatim. And I did not write that person's name down, so forgive gotcha. me. Is it Thanos? No. <laughs> oh, because everyone's referencing that tweet. No, but somebody said, Drake gave niggas hits and niggas gave Drake credibility. I feel like that's an even exchange. Great swap. And I agree. That's why I I'm agree. confused when I hear it. So when Drake says, mm -hmm. I gave y'all number one hits, mm -hmm. yeah, but a lot of people also gave you a lot of, you know. You think the streets would have stamped Drake if he didn't get next to Future? 
If he didn't get next to Rick Ross over the years, if he didn't get next to who other nigga shooting at him, yeah, like this, yeah. just those types of niggas. I'm fucking crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hold up, hold up, yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold up, my fault, my fault. Fuck all that Drake shit, my nigga. Is, I'm talking about my man's for real. Caught him off guard. I'm talking about my man's for real. Caught him off guard. What do you mean we cry? <laughs> I know y'all can't do? see the camera. I watched Pierre. We had like a live camera. That's shit. Crazy. But yo, Alex. Now a couple of the haters just walked while I was. Alex and the besties just. Surprise him at the studio. Gang members just popped out while I was talking about drinking. What up, Twin? Give them a hug. What the fuck? Now we talk to niggas right now. I don't know. I don't know. I love y'all niggas. Y'all know. But we live, right? Steph, no. I ain't mad at that. We live. Shout out to the guys, man. Yeah, yo, happy birthday, bro. All right. Yeah, guys. So his be Alex's Valid. besties just surprised him at the studio. How Shout cute! Out to the guys, yeah, man. That's what's up. Yo, feel free. We got food here yeah. too. A little bit. Yeah, no, I'm watching my figgy. So yeah. get at it. Yeah, do y'all think? Go crazy. Yeah, so get at it. Yeah, get at it. Go but crazy. yeah, for real talk, do y'all feel like he would have got the same stamp in the streets if he didn't have the future next to him? If he didn't have a Rick Ross next to him? That's true because at the end of the day, he's right. a, he's a little Canadian boy. You Respect, know? and I love him, so. but he would have just been the pop star. Right? Like the dude that we all know makes music, but I think internally he would have been tight that he's probably looked at as a cornball. Yeah. Again, uh -huh. I don't think he's a cornball. I don't know the nigga personally, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, but I do yeah, think yeah. if you don't get next to those niggas, the rest of the industry, the fans, the supporters, they look at you different, man. But I think this shit is so fun yeah. because the, the illest thing about all of this is everybody's acting. The only <laughs> difference between Drake and Rick Ross is that Drake got checks to act in like actual TV. <laughs> like Rick Ross was a, a, a officer, legit. Yeah. And we accept it, and it's cool because the nigga makes slaps, and he really talked about there. it in a way where we Thank like, yo, you. that shit, it sounds amazing. Thank you. All of it is branding. All of it is manufactured. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we really, really, and this is why I love Pusha T. Going back to what I said at the top of the, no, legit. <laughs> Let me hear it. Let me hear it. <laughs> there's a lot of cosplaying in this shit. There's okay. a lot of cosplaying in this shit. I'm with you. I and think, yeah. we've heard people say Drake got the ultimate bag. He could pay for any information, anything and anybody that he needs to get in touch with, he can and he will do it. Which is why I think this beat, this matchup between Kendrick and Drake is going to be phenomenal because he has the budget to say, I will pay any amount of dollar to get dirt on Kendrick Lamar. Wait, speaking of, because I think we just skipped over what Alex said about mm -hmm. like, oh, I wish he had a separate diss track just specifically for Kendrick because mm -hmm. that's what we care about. I don't know though because Kendrick basically had like a 16 about Drake and Cole. So Yeah, he didn't need a whole verse. So Drake dropping yeah. um push-ups, it was like the the equal Equivalent. energy. Like he he dropped a few I think it's a little different, wrong? right? Because I agree with you, right? Drake and Cole on the same song. So if anything, he's addressing a body of work that was shot at him or but the that, shit that made him feel personal. That song wasn't like a, a diss. It wasn't aimed at him. But see, that's the problem with us fans. Okay. I don't give a fuck what y'all think is a diss or not. Yeah. If I know I'm Kendrick Lamar, I got all these fucking Grammys. I yeah. got more Grammys than all the niggas you love. Again, I'm not putting the Grammy on the pedestal. I'm just mm -hmm. saying in terms of accolades. If I know I'm him. If I know I have the classic albums, mm -hmm. we already argued about this already, Fact. and it's debatable about what classic albums Drake and Cole got. If I know that and I'm Kendrick Lamar, I'm taking it as a fucking diss. I am. But you, the rumor, you don't see a the, big three? What the fuck you mean? Ain't no the, big, huh? The rumor that I've heard and also Joe and them reported is that they wanted Kendrick to be on that song. First person shooter? Yeah. I, the rumor is that they wanted Kendrick to be on first person shooter with the three of them. Yeah. It would have been the three of them. So nah, if he declined it, I, yeah. and then they did whatever they did, mm -hmm. like, like, and, all right. You I, still know gotta prove I, I still gotta prove I'm better than you, though. You know, I hit the group chat, and I'm like, yo, yeah. guys, let's do an emergency podcast about all that's going on. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's say Alex was actually available, and Reggie was in Mexico doing whatever the fuck she was doing in Mexico, <laughs> and then you and I actually did a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You you can't be mad. Yeah, and then I was mad, and that was like, you can't be mad. Like, you, also, you ain't want to do it. But you, you couldn't do it. But for you whatever also, reason. but you also can't be mad if I go over there and respond and show you that I'm. Better. But it's, it's not. It, it's you not, can't be mad. It's only response because he initiated that. that I, I I would we we have seen history of at least Drake and Kendrick having friction. Oh yeah, so, so this like, wouldn't be the birth there's of what started that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what I was gonna say. Like, it's not like he's mad at just first person shooter. Like, they were beefing before that. That would be like if y'all did an emergency pod without me, but we've been fighting, so now we're all just mad at each other. Right, right. Uh, like, yeah. I'm Rick Ross, man. Like, I, it's it's got to be something that really bothered him. And on the leak leak diss track, do you have it? You know, it's on streaming now. On which one, Drake? 
Uh, yeah, oh, Rick yeah. Ross. Well, we got to keep now. Nah, we got to keep going, Drake. Keep it on Drake. Uh, we got to keep going, Drake. Rick Ross is later. Yeah, that's later. We got to keep going, Drake. Anyway. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? <laughs> I know my picture on the wall when you cook up. <laughs> Extortion, baby. Hope for red. You been shook up. This top told you drop it. Give me fifty likes of push ups. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Wait, do you, do you not like care about the how you pick stuff in with Yo, a Alex, the size of a man's on? Why did you? Well, I, I thought it was. You look mad. Alex, Alex, I'm not, I gotta Alex get, I gotta, is unimpressed. He's unimpressed. I don't like that right? for you. Like, you want to know why I'm a little bit unimpressed? Because your man's is. I get it. Nah, nah, nah I get it. Yo, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yo, you He's know like, what? That niggas might have a step off the room. This nigga acted different when his man's in the room. Yo, this is like when a nigga go to a basketball court and his girl watching. That nigga start doing mad moves and shit. You gotta put your shit up. Yo, come on, bro. Pop. <laughs> I think I think Drake did a great job. I'm unimpressed a little bit. Okay. Only because of the next round. Okay. All right. Um it sounds like Kendrick Lamar is trying to end Drake. Wait. Where do you get that wait, from? Wait, okay. Not but off hold on, y'all. Off of like uh -huh. No, not off of like that. Where do you get that from? What do you mean where do we get that from? Because I don't I feel like Help Kendrick me, nigga. barely you, <laughs> do you, you know you know about the you know about the beef with them over the years. I'm confused. It's, no, 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 but I, I feel like, like compared that. to push-ups. What do you mean you don't like it? Kendrick, it's all the Kendrick barely said anything on like that compared to what Drake thank is saying you, on push-ups. Like you. that's my problem, yo. I'm I, Alex, I don't like that is 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 around here. It's a part of it. Okay. When you think about the history between the two of these people, or the three of these people, we'll, we'll say the two of them because we're talking about Kendrick and Cole. Uh -huh. I mean, Kendrick, Kendrick and Drake. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, since Control, it's been rumored that Drake didn't like the Control shit. He was speaking greasy about him in inter mm -hmm. interviews after that, right? Never mentioned to him to be a part of the big mm -hmm. three. Like, this is not a new thing here. You know, you see where I'm getting at? So, mm -hmm. if this is not a new thing here, there's plenty of facets here. But, like, what has Kendrick done to, like, end Drake? Yeah. All right, I got to go back to why I'm unimpressed. This goes back. Man, it's funny Justice here. We were talking about this a little bit, right? Okay. You got a Compton blood who's educated. Okay. No disrespect. You got a... Damn, he called Drake oh, And then you got a... Dumb. Just, just listen to what I'm getting. Just listen to where I'm getting at. You got a biracial kid, and that's not a problem. I'm just saying, when in, in rap and in, in diss track and all that shit, right? Things they could point at. I think this is going to come down to who's the more knowledgeable person. Not from, yo, how much dirt. <laughs> Can I get on you? This nigga made a whole album, The Pimp a Butterfly, around what was going on with black people, right? And how important the messages were on the album, right? Mm -hmm. We spoke about it and all of that. When you get a nigga that can think like that on the rap level, respect the Drake. I love all his slaps. The R&B joints, I love it. When you talk about women, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I ain't want to I love it. <laughs> I love all that shit. I got no issues with Drake, okay. right? And I accept Drake for who he is. Yeah. He's an amazing artist. <laughs> He's an amazing song maker. You, you cannot deny when his slaps come on. Yeah. When you're dealing with a motherfucker that is interested in knowledge and is not afraid mm -hmm. to touch subjects around race. Politics. Who is not afraid to touch subjects around politics. Mm -hmm. What do you think his solo diss is going to sound like? And, and hey, y'all, uh, I could be wrong. Again, I'm not a, Drake, uh, a, a Kendrick D. Rod or nothing like that. I could be wrong. But what I do know is his catalog and his history and where he's taking it. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard Drake get conscious, and that's not a problem. But we saw what Pusha T did, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't the club record diss. No. It was the, I'm very knowledgeable. I'm very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick at pieces personally at you that's really going to eat at you in hindsight. Mm -hmm. And that's all Kendrick has shown us over the years. So for me, it was like, all right, cool. Like the seven size shoe. How do you think Kendrick heard that? Do you, you, you think Kendrick took that the same way we took like, that? We were, that's my point. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's you, my point. Okay, you kind of ate my point up a little bit, not gonna lie. Kendrick probably heard that. <laughs> Kendrick probably no, heard because, that. Seven shoes. Yeah, okay. like, because Drake has never <laughs> been, Ever. like, really dropped some, like, knowledge but on him. There's no done problem that. with that, right? No, but, like, in, the, in, <laughs> in this little back and forth, I enjoyed the little stupid little jabs that he did on push ups. Me too. I thought it was fun. I think it was I thought, fun. Like, the size of a men's, like, I really, I chuckled yeah. a lot. I, I don't think yeah. you need, like. But can, I, I see what you're saying, Alex. You see what I'm, like, see what I'm getting in at? In the grand scheme of things, just like, the, the range, yeah, yeah, yeah. the content that like, Kendrick isn't really, afraid like, to touch. He's not really bothered by these little ass, like, seven okay, size, okay. seven size, shoot. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But I think when, when, when Drake says things like that, it's to kind of counteract exactly what Kendrick did, which is just send a jab. Like, I don't believe Drake said those things to actually hurt Kendrick. 
I don't think he did that to like have Kendrick staying up in the studio late at night, like, oh shit, I gotta respond. I think he said it so we would all know, like, yeah, nigga, I'm shooting back at him. That's like, my that's my point though. You get like so Th- that's what because even when Kendrick is talking about for all the dogs and mentioning Goofy and but, saying things like it's very surface level shit. So I think Drake is just matching that energy. But Drake, I don't think yeah. he did any of that to be like, oh, I'm trying to be cerebral man by that's saying you got problem. little feet, midget but, man. But like that's the problem. Because I think he's going to become cerebral, Kendrick, right? Like, Drake, I don't need you to tell us <laughs> that you're responding. We appreciate it. I get that they try to they try to play with his name yeah. when it comes to, mm-hmm. you know, writing lyrics and stuff like that or his pen or whatever. We know he got a pen. We know he can spit. This is not one of these occurrences where you need to worry about us in the equation. Hence why I start- I disagree. I'm listening. Because like public opinion. Is why not- is that? Because, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish real quick. Kendrick is not active on social media. He doesn't do the trolling that a Rick Ross or even a Drake would do, mm-hmm. right? So you don't got to tell us. We are, people already know. Yeah, people already know you about it. If anything, you know how Kendrick is gonna try and get at you. Every time we we've seen Kendrick pop out on niggas, right? It was his big ass moment, right? Control like that, like that is still number one at the time of this recording. Mm-hmm. Nigga, these are impactful records that you got to deal with, bro. Yes, it was a job. Are they impactful? They, they, I just I, said it was number one. Okay, but in, in, a few, in a few years from now, where where does it go? Like control, what? it doesn't. Where, where do you, you listen to control? Does okay, control, control dictate was, anything? Okay. That, in the moment, it, it's no, a it moment. Wasn't. Kendrick oh, is the mo- he's, he's, no, he's just he's the moment man. Oh, he makes moments and they they dope moments because nobody else does it the way he does. But it's just a moment. Like you, if he didn't reopen that with like that, nobody would even think about control. The reason why control is at the top of our mind right now it's is because true. Kendrick did something that was reminiscent of control. So now, of course, it's like, oh, shit, that nigga did that shit 10 years ago. I remember when he did that. But nobody's going around putting that as a badge of honor for Kendrick. It was a moment and it passed. Let me ask and you a Drake question. continued to be who Drake is. Let me ask you a question. Okay. The beef is just starting, right? We're not even in the second round. Sure. For real, right? Mm-hmm. How long do you think this rift between Drake V20 is going to last? Do you think this is something that's going to be amended in a month? Do you think this is something that's going to be amended in a year? No, no. And, I, and, and to yeah. answer your question, that's why that is a moment. Like that is going to stick. Maybe not at the level of a control because he was really coming out of everybody, mm-hmm. right? And, and like that was more uh, Kendrick's qualms with the big three conversation. But it's definitely going to stick and stay here for sure. Like, mm-hmm. And this was some shit where it was like, yo, niggas is just rapping for fun. Like, you know, but we still cool behind the scenes. I see what you're saying. It ain't that big of a deal. I don't see this amending at all. If Kendrick is rumored to have a trap mm-hmm. for, for four years, he's been sitting on for four years, right? Quote, unquote, this track is supposed to get at him. It's supposed to try and end Drake. Mm-hmm. What kind of energy you think he's going to come in that next round with? So, though I do like what Drake did on what's, uh, push-ups, right? Mm-hmm. He had some cool witty shit on there. I fucked with it. I liked it. I think Kendrick is really going to get muddy as fuck. And now, back to public perception, right? Like that is still number three. I mean, still number one for the third straight week Mm -hmm. in America, right? Hmm. Like that. And then if his response to what Drake just responded to gets super muddy, the public perception could be, damn, Kenny came out with like that. Okay, Drake came out with his jab, Mm -hmm. which he addressed everybody else and Kendrick. But then Kenny came back with the trying to end this nigga's life. If I was Drake, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going for the jugular. I'm going for the jugular. Mm-hmm. I'm not nah. playing with a nigga like Kendrick, you don't, bro. You don't want to You don't want to show your hand that, that early in the, in the fight. Let me ask you, you don't, don't want to throw your haymakers let's in go the to, second round. Let's bro. go to Pusha T. You don't want to do that yet. Let's go to Pusha T. Mm-hmm. What do you think Drake should have done differently in that Pusha T situation? Um, do better. Define do better. Do I'm you, kidding, I don't know. I think the shocker that story Pusha, added on, right? Pusha T drop was just better. So he couldn't have done it. I don't know. I don't, what Imagine, I don't know if, what could have Drake done. No, you're right, Reggie. Yeah. Right? But here, here's where I'm at it, right? Imagine if Drake would have responded with a, a back-to-back like this before the story of added on. How is he publicly perceived now? What do you mean? It would have been too weak? It, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if he did something like like the bombshells that Pusha T did on the story of Adidon. Imagine if Drake did it first. The whole jab conversation, another thing I'm seeing online, jab here, jab there. If we keep it in the buck, you niggas been jabbing since fucking 2011, 2009, 2013. The jabs have been jabbing. <laughs> this, is, this is not some random shit out of nowhere where we're just realizing. It was more so sparring. 
I think they were okay, small before. Same I think, thing. Box. I think yeah. now, I think now it's like direct, and it's okay. like I know this is my target. Right. Like when Drake says certain things in the line, and we caption it on Instagram, we don't know who he's talking about. We just saying, oh shit, this shit sound tough. He got ops. Who the fuck are these imaginary <laughs> ops? We don't know it's Kendrick. <laughs> yeah. But now that we actually could like put a face to it, right. I think all right, now it's an actual jab. Which is a little bit different than whatever they was doing over the last few years. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why with first person shooter, I don't really count that. Because when that dropped, not a single soul said, Oh, this is aimed at Kendrick. But it don't matter. I want you to go into it rap. Does it, do it, it does matter. It does matter. I want you to not think like Savon and think like a rapper. Okay. I'm not, not a, I'm not a rapper. I know, but you got. <laughs> for the, for this nigga like, just like, hey, we got to rap in the room. Like, we got to rap in the room. Try and channel some energy. No, like, try and channel some energy. But out of no. all the niggas in the room, I might be the last nigga to No, because the way Savon said, he's like, I'm not a rapper. Bro, bro. Like, what like, what right? do nigga like, all right, for let, the let me try. Yeah, for the sake of this conversation, Uh huh. because. We can't analyze this as, as common fans. Okay. If you are a rapper yeah. and you hear first person shooter yeah. and they're kind of subbing you, you're going to feel a way about it regardless of people who picked up on it or not. No, I get that. You see what I'm saying? I, I and we're talking about that. the rappers in the situation. Yeah. Not but, the perception, the people in it. But they've been subbing each other. And this is my point with yeah. that, right? They've yeah. been subbing each other for so long for Kendrick to finally say, all right, I'm going to put a stop to this and I'm going to put a bullet a name on that bullet is a little bit different because they've both been doing it, right? Like, it's not like it's just been one-sided. They've both been throwing these jabs at each other. Like, and honestly, Kendrick's jab at the BT cipher in like, what, 2014, that wasn't even so subtle. That was a legit, hey, I'm going to tuck the sensitive rapper that just fucking dropped his <laughs> album back in his clothes. High five, nigga. Like, that was very direct, but nothing really came of that. Right. So... They've both been doing this for a while. I think it shifts when now we know exactly who he's talking about. First person shooter was left up into interpretation. In hindsight, being 2020, it's a little bit easier for me to be like, oh shit, you know what? That actually aligns. I think this is at Kendrick. But if Kendrick never dropped like that, nobody would. Because again, first person shooter been out for dumb long. Yeah. You and hip hop, Reggie's in hip hop. I, I'm in like nobody correlated first person shooter having the, anything uh, to do with Kendrick. But what what do you think Kendrick said to himself when the first time he heard it? I get but, but that's about, the important part. But, but, but hear me out. The reason why birthday, so I'm hit you you, thank you bro. The reason why that's important is because he's the one involved. Regardless of if TMZ picked it up or if the shade room picked it up, Kenny is not pulling his rap facts or what he should personalize from social media or from... But when you say that, and this is my <laughs> yeah. thing, and then we can kind of move on. We right. can push this conversation forward. When you say that, my response is, they've been doing this for so long, right? He could have chosen any one of those subliminals for him to be like, all right, let me attack that. He didn't. He hasn't. So yes, I understand what you're saying. As a fan, maybe it goes over our head. But you don't think out of all of the subliminals over the last 10 years that he didn't catch any of them until this last one? No. He's been picking up. He's been caught him, but he decided to finally address this one is what I'm saying. You get him? Do you understand? I, I totally hear what you're saying, right. but sometimes it's up and it's stuck. It's, nah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? And he proved that. And he proved that. You don't think so? To more, more needs to be developed. All right, I'm not, be, I, and I'm not mad at that. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah, mad at yeah, that at needs all. To be I'm not mad at that at all. But, but the future thing is uh, striking to me too because I want to advance this conversation a little yeah. bit. I want to know why people don't think Future has a mind of his own. Who said that? Uh, the internet, if you believe him. A lot that. of the discourses, and and, I, and I'll break down what I mean. A lot of the discourses, yo, Metro got Future doing this. When I heard Drake's diss, I thought I was gonna get a lot focused on Future and Kendrick. Now, again, I'm not saying that he did not do that. He definitely threw some, sh some shots at him. And I know it's a 20v1. Mm -hmm. So he felt like he had to get, up, get at everybody. But damn, nigga, it was Future's album we heard like that on, nigga. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we hear a Kendrick response to your point mm -hmm. if Future and Metro don't put out an album. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me and to the people online, I, I can assure you that <laughs> Future makes his own decisions. And this is probably going to get us to like, what is going on? Why are these things happening? We're getting mm -hmm. the Rick Ross and shit. Future can make his own decisions, and I'm sure Metro is not the only person. Like when I see Drake online um, doing the drum line, 
uh, uh, interpolation of Metro on Nick Cannon's face. <laughs> yeah, the deep fake. All right. The deep fake. All right, so you you asked me to put my rapper hat on, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not nothing close to a rapper. <laughs> yeah. You actually produce. <laughs> yeah. So if a rapper were to tell you, Yo, Alex, go shut the fuck up and make, make some, some drums. drums. <laughs> How would you take that? Like, what do you do? I'm gonna go make some drums. Do you, do you wait, rap? wait, 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 no, wait, so, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some drums, <laughs> nigga. Do you rap? <laughs> No, nah, I'm a ma- yo. That's what you do. Wait, okay, so that it was okay. So I, I, I was a little yeah. bit, you know, delayed because yeah. I was in Mexico. Yeah, I know we said that like ten times already. I'm sorry, but I, I caught it after he said Metro shot your whole ass up, make some drums, and they were like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. But then I really thought about. It, I was like, what else is he supposed, supposed to, to do? do? I'm gonna like, go make some drums. I'm, like I'm gonna go make the next set of drums to oh, dish your ass on, bro. No, there's like, mad like, instruments <laughs> as a producer. Don't just tell me to use drums, nigga. No, but it'll, be like, it'll, be, hold on, it'll be like someone dissing, like beefing with Savon, and they're like, "Shut the fuck up, go pod." It'll be like, "Okay, I will." I, I like, will. Like I'm gonna do that regardless. Is that not, so what, I, is that not what that no, means? You know why it's disrespectful? Because I do more than pod. Oh brother! Uh, but we know that. <laughs> no, but that's why. It's this but we bro, know that. Okay, bro, like, bro, so like, 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 like in a diss, right? Mm-hmm. Are you being overly obvious, or you be, you, like? I get the fact that you're being witty. I get it. You're he's, being petty. He, I like, like it. I, I get the. I get but the it's point. Obvious. I get Drake's point of like he's trying to belittle him. Like, yo, you're not even gonna say anything. Like, just go in the corner and make your little beat. I get. <laughs> I get that's what the point was. Yeah. But I don't think it was that strong because it's like yeah. to, like telling Savon to go pod. Like, it's like okay, like okay, like. I don't know. Right. But that was like one of the main metro lines there. Yeah. So I was like, I think that was what? the only time he really addressed them. I thought, oh, see. I thought we were going to get more. On. But you got to yeah. right, just think about it. Uh-huh. Metro dropped like 48 <laughs> songs in seven, what, 14 days, two weeks? Yeah, them niggas went crazy. He made, that's ma- more he made mad just, drums. That's more than just drums. <laughs> so for a nigga to look you dead in your face. Now, mind you, oh. Metro's the only nigga marketing this album. <laughs> I haven't seen nobody else say, Yo, we don't literally. trust you. That like, was... Metro nah. has been champion. Nigga, we don't trust you, Drake. <laughs> he made all the beats. Yeah. All the drums, uh-huh. all the snares, all the bass, you know, all this shit. What, what else they got doing? What else they be doing when the producer like, nigga? Hi hats, all that Chicks, shit. Like, there's perp, a lot more top, than times. just drums. <laughs> so, for the nigga to drink to be like, shut your ass up and go make some drums, nigga. Like, it's cool. It's cool. Wait, like, what are you saying? You're saying yeah. it was a good jab or? I think it was funny. It's I think, fu- I I think funny it lands. I think it lands. I think we're getting to the base of this conversation now. Mm. I think a lot of that shit is funny too. And I think it might land as well. But in the diss track, I'm trying to fucking hurt you. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm not. I'm trying, trying to eviscerate you. Real shit. So just hit me out. Like I know it's a jab, and and when you're boxing, when you jab somebody, you trying to fill them out, right? You trying to see what they got. You know what I'm saying? Where they at with it? Exactly. Yeah, okay, I get so it. Okay, so this is. I agree with you. Like right. I'm trying to see the real now. Like it's like okay, it's mm-hmm. Drake versus Kenny for real now. But like, so this is this was like a good like round one. Mm-hmm. Like like that was not insane either. No offense, but like it wasn't insane either. It was a few bars, and then. Which started it all, and now Drake came with this, so that was like a good first round. But like that, yeah, you're right. Good first round. I don't even know if people will consider it the first round. We're we'll gonna get into that in a second. Like that was just so impactful, though. Again, I'm not mm-hmm. a Kendrick D. Rider, nothing like that. It, it is still the Beyonce put out a fucking album, mm-hmm. y'all. Like it did what it had to like, do. Like yeah. <laughs> Beyonce uh, put yeah. out an album in the midst of all that. Like that is still number one. Bro. So that is not, yeah, that's what, crazy. My, my thing is, talking about? that's a good point. We we gotta decide. We okay. gotta we have to I'm decide. Listening. I'm listening. What type of this is do we want? Do we appre- Do we want what we have today? Mm-hmm. Because today, you're not just going to get a song. I'll you're going to get the social media stuff. You're going to get the women bar. You're going to get the, like, or do we want the, the beefs pause Let me be clear. Past? Let me be clear. All of the bars that, and you know what? I'll, t- I'll take it back. All of the bars that he had for the rest of the people he was shooting at, mm-hmm. right? The Futures, the Metros, the Rick Ross, this one and that one. The funny shit works. <laughs> like I'm down. Yeah, 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 I'm 100% down. I think it makes sense. I think it's quirky. Like, okay, cool. Kendrick Lamar is my issue. Hence why I intro this and said I think he should have made two separate diss tracks. Uh-huh. Focus them niggas out the field and Kendrick over here. Like you're not like jabbing at like a meek milk. No offense. This is yeah, like no offense. This, ain't like, this back is Kendrick. Back. Like this is Kendrick. That's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, so in the beginning the of round. this and last episode, and I think even since our episode with Eden, I was like, oh my god, I'm looking so forward to this because when it was Cole, Drake, and Kendrick. Um, we just want. I just wanted like the the back and forth, the lyrical back and forth, all that. Mm-hmm. I, that's I, that's what I thought I wanted. But now Alex changed my mind. Where it's like, no, like it's about to get real, like we, for real. Yo, but this you, is, you, you right. might have to apologize to Cole. I, 
Nah, nah. Why would, why would I got to apologize nah. to a nigga they, they apologizing. Call, they're gonna, they call I got to apologize hit me to a nigga that apologized. They, make it make hey, hit me out, hit me out, hit me out. That nigga said I'm sorry. And hit you me want out. me to say, no, hit me out. my bad. No, he said, I'm going to take it on the chin. Hit me out, hit me out. My spirit is good, nigga. No, no, no. I want to be clear. Maybe we got to, hey, they calling dudes white boy out there. <laughs> like it, it, I'm, we should have been but, saying this. That's why I'm like, I'm not surprised. These like, niggas been white. I, no one else has but, said but, that. But, but they ain't really looked at them as that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's who you see what I'm saying? that. Who no, no, is that? If I look at I a fence. nigga with a white mother and I don't look at him and say that nigga's white, I'm the idiot. It's, it's they've been it. white. <laughs> It's what you, okay. So hear me out, hear me out, right? You think Cole, right? That just okay. backed out gracefully. Uh-huh. How you think he would have responded to White Boy? Yo, what's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? Before we get back into the episode, I want to make sure we give a special shout out to the good folks over at Underdog Fantasy. Yes, we love our friends at Underdog Fantasy because they have a special little promo for you guys. They will give you a deposit matchup of up to $100, but you have to use our code Need to Know. So you could put in $5, they'll match up $5. You could put $100, they'll match up $100 only if you use our promo code Need to Know. Exactly. So press pause right now, download the Underdog Fantasy app. App and use promo code need to know for a deposit match of up to hundred dollars. Come on, y'all, let's get it. Hey, well, a, hold on, it's the same. Wait, thing. I don't know what he would. What, what do you think he would? He I, don't don't think, I don't think he would know what to do. Which <laughs> is why that's why I'm saying. Like, yeah, what would he do? Now I understand. I, I don't like it. I don't support. I don't endorse it. I, yeah, 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 yeah. But I could tell now, yo, this nigga was probably getting some intel. But like, this, yo, this shit about to, yo, they about to start calling niggas oh, white moms. That's why he was. You see uh, what okay, I'm getting retreat, at? Retreat, retreat, yeah, yeah. retreat, retreat. Oh no. shit, they about to start shooting that niggas. Yeah, race. Yo, I didn't want all this. I gotta get out of here. You should. I don't know how I'm gonna defend that, bro. You should have never signed up for it. After you named yourself J Cole, you should have came for a defense against I'm white. They call the nigga Jay Fold. <laughs> I'm a, and this is why I hate what we're talking about now, because this is Sorry, a real dick. Fuck Beanie Siegel. Yeah. Nigga, you can suck my dick when the shit on it. Mac put a lid on it. So how you fuck with me? I kill your whole fucking Wait. family. You can oh, put your kid on it. Free, you a bitch what? too. Wait, wait, wanna wait. run with your man? Talk greasy, nigga. You getting hit too. We can make the ball. Oh, wait. Oh. Come on. I didn't know that ball was coming. I knew it was coming. That's not why I said coming. it. But how could you play that? And be surprised as to why I'm not super astonished from Drake shit. Mm -hmm. Like we were laughing at like yeah, se yeah, size yeah. seven shoe and nigga, did you hear that? It was funny. <laughs> but it was is, funny. But this was <laughs> not and, meant and, to be funny. Yeah, I mean, nah. This, this is oh, this is very like really disrespectful. But that's what, why do you want this from white boy? <laughs> What you mean? This like what you mean? We have to like we we can't keep picking and choosing. What do you mean? We I'm have not to picking decide and what the fuck we want. I'm not. I'm, and I we also ha and also you always talk about niggas being smarter, right? Yeah. If we're smarter, we should have been looked at Drake like, oh, this nigga's white. He's ha he's half white. <laughs> yeah, I know. But when you Drake, say they're white, but when you saying niggas in every song and your complexion looks like a light skinned dude, like, bro, people are not gonna hone in on it. Like we knew he was but Jewish then, for a but, while. But, you talked about it on Take It. I know what you mean. I see what you're getting at. But that's not the real argument here. The real argument is what he's been accepted for. And for the most part, he's been sanctioned and accepted from black people. But you know why? You see what I'm, you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. You wanna, yeah. It goes back to that exchange. Uh -huh. Because some artists needed that. Some artists needed that look. And I go back to what I was saying before. Drake is just better than niggas. Like, he is. And it's a perfect storm, right? Yo, it's you got to chill with that. But bro, bro like, it's you got to chill, bro. bro Put, push a, a T going to text you on nigga, some shit. You have to understand. That nigga push a T going to text any, you. That's supposed to be your man. Any rapper. Any rapper. This nigga said he the best. You say he better than everybody, bro, nigga, right? That's just what Much, it is, bro. Hit it in the crowd. I get it. <laughs> better than everybody? Listen, bro. All you this, I got you. All right, go. I'm not saying he's the greatest. I'm not. Yeah, clean it up. I'm not saying he's the greatest. Because that's literally what he just like, said. When bro. I have my top, when okay. I have my top five, it's not like <laughs> and oh I fuck shit. With him. But you when I deep. say, bro, there's no other rapper in history that could have ghostwriting allegations and still keep collecting W. You're right, bro. rapper. But and the reason why he's able to collect up is because when I say he's better than anybody, I mean he reaches everybody. He makes a sound for everybody. He connects everybody. Everybody doesn't have that luxury to be a Drake in that sense. So when you decide to wake up one day and Drake is no more serviceable to you in Rick Ross's situation where fuck it, we already made the music, we already made the money, now I can say however I really truly felt about the nigga or I could just say the truth it's and just true. say this is what it is. I don't think now, let me get that off. But when it served him, I don't think that's true. That white boy is what he needed at times. I don't think that's true. That white boy is what a lot of niggas needed at certain Rick, times. I.e., low baby. Rick Ross. A had, lot of Rick Ross had his before Drake. 
I'm not saying he didn't, but you can't but, act but, like he didn't enhance the of nigga. Of course he you did. You can't act like he but, didn't but, extend his but, run, of course extend he did. his time and his Salute. game, his relevancy. Salute. So again, he helped. when you when you decided but to do all this But he had hit records shit. before him. If he never had a hit record before the nigga, like if the nigga was just didn't know how to fucking make a hit, I could see what you're saying. The nigga can make a hit. Did Drake When's the last hit Drake you had enhance Drake? it? Huh? When's the last hit? Nigga, let's hit. look it up. Nigga, hit. What's the shit? I just want to be had. the one. I just want to be the one you love. What? <laughs> what year was that? I'm just saying shit. What fucking year was that? Nigga, I don't know, nigga. You didn't have, have a shit beard. Up, the fuck, nigga? I had a beard, nigga. You didn't even have shit a beard when that shit dropped. wasn't as broad, but I had a beard, nigga. The fuck? <sighs> like, what do you mean, that's, bro? So that's what I'm trying to say about the whole Drake point. Mm, what's like, the whole Drake when, point? When let's, we, go to, let's, let's stay here for Rick Ross for a second. And it sounded like you was about to say Meek, right? No, I wasn't. Okay, well, I'm about to say Meek. All of them. <laughs> All of cool. them. Cool. Whoever you want to mention. We saw Meek go at Drake, and Ross kept it P. If if there was any opportunity in time where Rick Ross wanted to be like, you know what, dog? Nah, nigga, don't listen to them niggas. Them yo, niggas yo, yo, they, yo, they, they ain't on the pod. Don't look at them. Yo, the look camera, at me. Nigga, I'm looking at the camera. I nigga. know them niggas can't save you. They're gonna holler at you later. <laughs> right. Cool. Let's deal with him. Let's do it. That was the perfect opportunity for Rick Ross to get something off his chest. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't for you're bugging. Why the fuck? He's the nigga was his artist, and he didn't say anything. If anything, he went on the interview and was like, "Nah, you know that's just little homies. Uh -uh. They just getting into." Like he something. stayed out of it. He stayed out of it, bro. So there's is, been a time where there was an opportunity for him to shoot, and he didn't. Ross is a businessman. So what? How does that Wait, change so now? Yeah. What the fuck like, is he talking? About? He's a bigger businessman yeah, now. Yeah, because we already got 15 years. It's nothing more that we can do that we haven't already done. I no longer need you, Drake. Oh my god! I no bro. longer need you, and you already did enough sucker shit for me to be like, I right, fuck you, nigga. It's over. Anytime, any. It's done. If you need a hit, if you want a hit, right? You would say that a lot of them would hit Drake, right? Yeah. It don't matter how much money you want, how much you're looking for, how mm -hmm. much you've done it. If you are looking for a hit, the mm -hmm. internet is insinuating that they had to hit Drake, right? So why would you just so easily dissolve that relationship if you were a good businessman? It served me already. That's not enough for it a good served, businessman. It served me As a already. good businessman, that's not yeah, enough. That's not tangible. You that's Ross? not tangible for a businessman, nah, Savon. Yo, Rick Ross is not in the business of music, my nigga. Um, Rick Rick none of them are in the business of music. Um, okay. Just, How deep do you want to get? He just dropped the album like a few months ago. <laughs> none of them are in the business of music. How deep do you want to get? That's not saying anything. They're all just businessmen. The businessmen first. Music is not the primary thing they making in my nigga. Streaming ain't making a bunch of money. So you just answered your own question. What do you mean? Why does he sever ties with Drake today? Well, we heard it. Because he What did no, you hear? He no longer needs no, Drake. No, 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 no. He said it on the diss track. What did you hear? Did you what, listen what to him? What did he say on the diss track? Uh, he, he said French. Sent a, he said Drake. He sent a cease and desist to French. He said Drake sent a cease and desist to French Montana. Mm -hmm. Granted, let me let, let's 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 rewind a little bit. Mm -hmm. I do these weekly music lists, y'all may know already. Mm -hmm. And Fresh Montana recently dropped the album, I want to say a few months ago. I'm not even going, I can't pinpoint when it was. I remember the marketing that week was, yo, Drake is supposed to be featured on the French Montana project mm -hmm. or with a song with Lil Wayne, Rick Ross. I got the song. It's you tough. do have the song. It's you tough. you have the, when he was on it, right? Uh, yes. I want you to play it in a second. All right. Cool. It was in February 23rd he dropped. February 23rd he dropped. Thank you so much, Pierre. You are amazing. <laughs> cool. When the album comes out, there's no Drake verse. Mm hmm. Me and Steph, it's funny, all the niggas I need to, that needed today is here. That's why they're here. Me and Steph listened to uh, Splash Brothers, which is the, 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 um, the version that's out now that doesn't have Drake. And we're listening to it like, in hindsight, like, oh my God, French Montana and Rosé were shooting at this nigga with Lil Wayne on the song. So, nigga, the nigga's been beefing. Why, why if you sent a cease and desist to French Montana and French is my man too, I wouldn't be titled for that. Why, why, why isn't that under good reason Going for me back to, be to what it is that you said, bro, like, yeah. you're talking about all of these artists from yesteryear. See, I don't like that you do that. It's the bro. truth. It may, but it has, because it has no if validity. We, if, we look at, <laughs> if we look at Drake and how he moves, Drake, whenever he wants to put on or whenever he wants to create a new hit or whatever, he doesn't pull back. He doesn't reach back. Okay. He reach with what's current and what's coming. And if what's coming doesn't hit, fuck it. I'm going to find something that hits that's current. Drake Save doesn't on. go backwards. Save the on. only features, the only people, Save if on. you, bro, listen to me. If you go on Drake's <laughs> discography, all of his features are artists who are currently popping or are going to be popping, who he believes to be popping. He, when's the last time French Montana been on a Drake album? When's the last time Rick Ross been on a Drake album? 
When the last time any of those people, he he don't even put Lil Wayne on his shit like if that, bro. Drake, only, Drake does not go back. <sighs> Drake's business model is what Hove was doing for years, which is I'm going to catch the wave and I'm going to be the wave. So when you keep telling me that what? Drake needs these, none of these, so he doesn't need he any get, of them. So let's entertain. He doesn't use so let's any of them in that, that is, way let's for his hits. Let's entertain your point. Okay. <laughs> If that was the case, why didn't he just do one song with Rick Ross and never go back? What do you mean? He doesn't. Yes, he likes to pull from the youth, mm -hmm. but he also pulls with people that he's close with. So hold on. Rick Ross. Again, we don't know all the full details at this time, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they'll be revealed. Mm -hmm. He probably thought at the time, yo, we all fuck with each other. No shopping. Hold on. Let me finish this. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. No shopping. That was French Montana and Drake. Oh, and they was doing all that joking and, and Kiki Keen in the beginning of that video. I just remember how close they looked, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't a Rick Ross go, man, like, you know, we're from the elk of the, the not the older generation, right? But the one that's definitely before the one that's current. Mm -hmm. Why can't he go, you know, like, we've always been cool. Why the hell did he send a cease and desist when we all been cool like that? No, I don't, I don't have those answers. Right. So I can't speak to that. I got you. But what I can speak to is Drake doesn't look at Riss Ross, at Rick Ross for hits. So what does he, he look does. at him for? For credibility. Okay. If, and, and that's if, what Rick Ross said. If if you came around because you needed to be credible, you needed somebody to stand next to who gave you that edge, who gave you those street anthems, who somebody who is actually about that life, or or at least perceived to be about that life. Because again, and I've met Rick, Rick Ross. Like he's a great guy. He's a fucking gentleman. And he's also somebody, if he walked in the room, I would give him the respect that I think he deserves. But that doesn't mean that I believe everything that he says in his rhymes. You get what I'm saying? But I do so believe- So why do you believe Drake so much? I don't. Well, we could say that for everyone. That's I, what I'm saying. No, but that's- Yeah. I, what I'm saying is yeah. there was an exchange. Whenever Rick Ross and Drake got together, there was, it's clearly an exchange. It's, n it's never been more obvious that it's been an exchange. When you hear them talk about each other, it says, yo, oh, this is my God. This is my man. This is my God. So when you go from this my man to like, fuck you, white boy, like this, that tells me it was just a transaction. It was transactional. But you're not addressing the point what of, point? I know you can't speak to it because we don't know. I want you to the eat. cease and desist? Yes. Bro. I don't know. I have no idea. No, but see, I don't know. You can't stay there, bro, because fuck the cease and desist. We're all friends. We're all cool. We not friends. Okay, cool. Yo, We're can all I play a clip? cool. Just can hear, I play a clip? Yes, for you? you can play the clip. You're you're literally you're you're purposely deviating from what I'm saying. But no, I'm gonna keep coming to you. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just play a clip and then play you tell me. Yes, yes I'm please play, play a clip, bro. It makes Yo, no yo, sense. Don't smoke me, nigga. It's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, nah, niggas about to raise my it blood pressure. Separating today. your real life and the this. Fuck? I'm very proud of my real life and the character judgment that I've used throughout mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. that I've spent on this earth. Nobody that I've ever considered a true friend has switched up. But these fly by night people that you come across, Ooh, they're all this? they're all not to be trusted. They're all I don't trust none of them. So if they were not, I'm not to be naive, trusted, why I'm not out here being like, hey, we're all it's all it's not buddy buddy, man. This is war, man. Just okay. like anything else. It's like sports, war, just like man. whatever yeah. it is. If you're in accounting, you, that, I treat we're playing for keeps, bro. It's not a joke. Oh to my god, me, he sounds you know? so, so fucking Yeah, I've seen Canadian. people I would never expect. People I've had the utmost respect for do foul if they could have their way i'd be on the street corner with me and all these guys in this room and my family we never to be heard from again if they had their way but like i said i'm ready for whatever does that only apply to drake i think that applies <laughs> for the field and like he said everybody when it comes to this real like he, he separated that was the first so and himself, only time i ever included, heard him say himself included right real life and music shit music industry shit he said he's proud of my real life like, when you get on these cameras or when you go out into the world, people are like, oh, shit, like, Alex, you're doing your thing. But then in real life, these are your niggas right here, okay. right? He's, he's proud of what he built with his real niggas. Understood. The industry shit is different. The Rick Ross shit, these relationships, the weekend, whoever he's referring to, everybody knows. And we all know because we in this shit too. We got like okay. real life friends. And then we got niggas it. who, I right, this but just makes hear sense. Me out, hear me out. So here we are. Here we are, right? It, but what it sounds like. It's like we're we're not trying to take accountability for Drake's side that he might have played in this as well. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but this is how it's sounding. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying like, okay, we get it. Niggas switch up all the time. Like, uh, niggas, I get it. It happens to every single person, not just artists, right? It's another side of that. If you told me Rick Ross is a good businessman and if it was for the business, you wouldn't sever this tie over 
What was it? What was it you just saying? I don't know. Like, like we're like. done be, but, being transactional yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I got yeah. what I needed from you and now I'm out. But if it's business, if it's still business, there's no reason to continue to do that. What I'm saying is I know we might not know specifically what it is, but even though he said it on there, mm -hmm. I'm sure he had conversations with French. Like, we don't have to just stop, oh, yeah, I don't know what happened. No, no, no. We need to go further within that because that's probably where the truth lies. But And I fuck with Drake. Niggas making me sound like I don't, bro. Like, it's just, you you don't risk that. If Drake does If you're Rick Ross. Like, you're saying, but, like, something bad must have it happened. Was, yes. Oh, but if you're Rick Ross, you don't risk wait, that. Wait, so wait. Are you... So Alex is saying, like, no, there's something crazy that happened probably that Rick Ross is like, yo, I'm done mm -hmm. with Drake. And then Savon, are, you're saying, like, no, actually, it's just like they're just they're just done with each other. That's like, he's just, tired of him. If there was anything to risk, right, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened that way. Drake, all, Drake, the cease and desist, right, it was already sent, which means Drake already took his stance. Rick Ross had nothing to lose by saying what he said because it was already out into the world. But that wasn't Rick Ross's song. It was French Montana song. All right, but regardless, when you put Drake it. next to Rick Ross and, and next to French, we know what that means. We know what that looks like. And so does no, Rick we Ross. Don't. You just told me them niggas is old and he looked for the new niggas. No, we don't. The nigga was a feature on a French Montana album. Mm -hmm. He probably took personally that he fucks with French Montana mm -hmm. and heard it's supposed to be French, Lil Wayne, and Drake. And then before it comes out, French hit niggas like, yo, it's just us on the song. I'm sure Rick Ross is like, what the, well, fuck? What, what the fuck happened, nigga? What, what happened to boy? So like, like at that point about? when he thinks what happened to boy and Drake had, it's already done because he sent the cease and desist. Okay, now who is the bad guy if that was the way it was going? There is no bad guy. It's business. Oh, Get out caping. your feelings, nigga. Oh, we You're mad because you need me on this song. We, we caping heard. That's just what it is. If French Montana dropped the diss track, I could, would completely see where you coming from. This is coming from a nigga that was just featured on the song. So it sounded like, yo, this is my homie. We always do shit together. This nigga acting weird all of a sudden. I don't I, know. Boy over here don't want to say nothing, but I'm going to say something. That's what it sounds like. I, I, I'm going to concede. I'm going to concede. Because you and I can go back and forth a little bit on this. I, 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 I think it was done. I think, I think the relationship was already severed. I think it was strictly a music relationship at this point. And for whatever reason, Drake sent the cease and desist. It was already dissolved. And by that point, Rick Ross has nothing to lose. So when we talk about business, it's already done because I sent the cease and desist. It's already over. I would understand this if it was Rick Ross's song, but I do want to go to another topic. All right, let's do it. <laughs> have, have, uh, I'm, I'm going to play something yeah. else for y'all. Do you have anything else on the Rick Ross nah, nah, aspect nah. of it? I wanted to play a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, wait, go wait, wait, wait. Go but I'm sorry. I know you don't really care about the silly shit, but <laughs> with the Rick Ross song, we're not going to talk about how he said you got that surgery, that six pack gone, and that's why he'd be wearing the bulletproof vest and shit. <laughs> See, see, do we not care about? So, so hit me the, out. Like, do I? Do we not care about the silly bars today? I'm no, sorry, because no, no. that's all I had. I <laughs> love the silly bars. You know, let, let's compare them. Mm -hmm. Size seven shoe. You're a man that got cosmetic surgery to his abs. Which one is more muddier? Which one hits more okay, at the soul? So you're saying Rick Ross had the better? Wait, but like, you see what I'm getting at? You see what I'm getting at? Because I'm all for funny. But shit. that was for to Kendrick, and then Rick Ross to Drake. I don't know. It's I don't know. I'm it's just saying like this. The, I'm, I'm, the 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 part where Drake um, mentions um, Rick Ro Rick Ross was uh, saying he's a 50 year old rapper. He, like he basically insinuating that he doesn't belong in rap beef. Ageism, ageism. ageism. Like Drake not about yeah, to be 40. I mean, that, that don't really hit in hip hop though. But Drake, about, like, that's yeah, my yeah. guy. I love Drake again. He's about to be 40. <laughs> like and it's okay. Like, we bro, still you're not like 25. Like, we let's still relax. Fuck with your music. Mm. What? What is that? What is how? How does that compare to muddiness? When we talking about dissing, I like all the funny I get, shit. I get your point. Yeah. I think the muddiness. We could wait for the next round. I, like I. That's where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I. I see yeah. what you're saying, but let's yeah. give them a chance to really like get. Right. It, like insane. I insane. like Rick Ross. I think what he did was great. I think, <laughs> I think no, not nah, same. It I definitely think, had a few. few I think surprise. Rick sound like Ross, some bullshit. No, I'm telling you. He's like, bro. actually, I like him. No, no, but he just shit around for like thirty <laughs> minutes. Straight. Like that fat nigga ill, bro. Like it's a lot. <laughs> when you fat and ill, nigga, that's, that's a different superpower. Imagine cold. if he that's was skinny crazy. and ill, like it would be different. But is he skinny now? No, he, he's, oh, he's oh, slimmer. Oh, so. he's a, <laughs> slimmer, I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rose, <laughs> but I fuck with Ross. But I think the thing with Ross that really. The highlight of the track for me was not even anything he said in the bars. I think <laughs> everything he said after the track yeah. was what the highlight was. Going back to like the BBL, I think even calling him white boy and saying he had a BBL, like 
that is the standout for me. We're not talking about the niggas bars like that. White, so he called him white boy. He called him a white BBL nigga. He oh, called him yes, Jules. I know. I know he wants to move on, but we right as we're recording. <laughs> Drake posted on his story a response to Rick Ross, like that he had DM'd him. Mm-hmm. And you could go read it, it's probably like going viral right now, or whatever. But Drake oh. put it like paragraphs. Oh. I don't know what you guys thought about nah, it, but when never. I was Can't when I was right, okay, no, but when I was reading that, I get it's funny, people are probably laughing, like, oh shit, he came out Rick Ross. But to me, when I was reading that, I was like, is Drake like I don't know. I f- he sounds a little hurt, like when he was going crazy on Rick Ross, like with the jokes. I'm like, I get it's funny. You got like good jokes in there, but I'm like, what are you? He's doing a little too much. I don't know. And then the next morning after the diss track, we see a screenshot from Drake, right? (laughs) Who seems to be his mother. I doubt it. Who knows, right? And it's a text thread of supposedly his mom reaching out to him Mm -hmm. in the morning like, hey, That's Sandy. Wait, is her name Sandy? I think her name is Sandy. Sandy. I don't know if I just made it up. I don't know why I said Sandy. Sandy. It is Sandy? That sounded right. I can't Oh, yeah. When they were talking about um, Rick Ross after he said Drake got a nose job or some shit like that? Yes. Okay. Now, there was a lot of funny moments within the text. Yeah. You saw a lot of those, Mom? We're going to get to that later. (laughs) Nah, we talking about white mothers and shit. I had to... Hmm? That shit hit me. Y'all seen that shit? Hmm? Oh, my goodness. Hmm? I was like... (laughs) We're going to get to that later. <laughs> I thought about the white moms and shit. You saw a lot of those. I know you was on a boat and shit. Did you see that thing? I did, yeah. You saw that shit? What about it? <laughs> I need you to finish your sentence, Avon. I ain't saying that. No, no. <laughs> Dr. Umar, I'm going to disappoint you one of these days, nigga. Might be the day. You do your thing. My fault. Nah, you good. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to that later. Okay, let's do it. Keep that on the docket. Mm-hmm. Put it in a little corner. Let's do it. Stamp it. Now, we saw him post a screenshot, right? Now, grant, granted, whatever they said in that text exchange between his, him and his supposed mom, you got to know. You have to. It's probably like on page one <laughs> of the diss track manual. Second sentence. Second sentence, Pete, because Pete know what I'm finna say. Facts. You cannot bring mommy into this. Can't do it. You can't bring I mommy. I like that. That's like Adam Field to the fire. I love my mother. I know you. Not in rap. Ba- you um, should, unless you um, can bring your mom. No, you cannot. Unless like, for no, what you cannot. reason? For what reason? Uh, unless cannot. Drake was like, you know what? You cannot. To really get in my bag, I need him to go crazy, like nuclear. Like he had to say something about my mom. Yes. Yeah. Unless it's some bait. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because but push it to already said something about his mom. He said Sandy kept coming in last place. So the thing with Drake is, but remember, right, uh-huh. everybody Drake is the most accessible nigga ever. Like I remember one time I was dating this girl. Oh, shit, don't she, say it. She really, really, really liked Drake. And I thought she was really, really, really beautiful. And I said, you could really, really, really get in touch with this man if you wanted to. Why would you tell your John that? Because I'm Does that realistic. sound like some shit you should tell uh, your John? Does that sound like some shit you should be telling? I don't, don't live telling? in this world acting and like these niggas can't f- get in touch with my That's g- your problem. That's the tr- that No, your You're problem putting ideas is. in her head. She was already loving your little sausage. Facts. He not was like, little. I wasn't trying to play. Oh, no, I, shoot. I wasn't trying to play. No, no, no. I didn't mean that. Damn. I just meant like Big Bang, Lil Bang. Damn. That's what I meant by that. Okay. Like Drake Bank versus our bank. Okay. You already <laughs> hit. She was already fucking with that shit, man. She was loving that Why? shit. Why? Here you go. Hey, what you want to fuck Drake? She probably looked at you like, nigga. I don't, but I don't like to live in obscurity. I like to be realistic with myself, bro. But like, you know, it is realistic, but you don't have to like say it to the girl you're talking to, Savon. No. Who she does wants, that? She wants to fuck the nigga. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the fuck? Like, Continue the story. What? Continue the story. So what happened after you told her? <laughs> so I don't know. I, I'm not going to put that. I don't know what happened. I'm just saying like, Drake is the most accessible superstar that I am okay. aware of. Meaning... Okay. Anything that you could say about Drake is pretty is, is, is not hard to get information on Drake. Mm-hmm. I don't believe it to be hard. So if he puts his mom out there, if he if he puts his dad's in harm, like he's very public. I don't know what any of the I didn't even know what fucking Kendrick Lamar's wife looked like until Facts. the the internet did the science on who Whitney was. And yeah. then it's like, oh shit, this is what his wife looked like. It's the opposite with Drake. We know what his son looks like, we know what his mother looks like, we know what his father looks like, we know what his baby moms look like. It's a lot different. So when you say, why would you invite your mom into this? I don't think he's necessarily inviting his mom. I think the field is a little bit different for Drake because there's so much material for you to go to. It's not hard to find dirt Save on. on Drake. Save on. It's yeah. not. This applies to anyone. If I'm beefing with you, and you go call your mommy, or you go tell your mommy, like, and I love my mother so much, mm-hmm. but if I get in a beef with one of you niggas in here, and then I go uh, uh, post a, the, the screenshot of what mm-hmm. mommy said about mm-hmm. my qualm as an adult man, mm-hmm. 
You're right. There's probably muddier shit to get at, and there's more things you can shoot at. But that mm. is, that's just not what you I do. Don't, but like Drake <laughs> keeps, Drake keeps doing this though. Like I feel like he, people say this is about him, and then he like sends a DM or sends a text to whoever. He screenshots it and posts it on his story. I'm like, can you like, <laughs> like the first time I was like, okay, okay, well, like whatever. But he keeps doing it, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, he looks. Does this not like kind of weird people out a little bit? Like, I'm like, why is this your response? How do you think a Kendrick Lamar is looking at all of this? That's what I'm saying. It's a little, it's a little, okay. The word is, it's a little immature. Like, it's a little like, he posted a paragraph of jokes of him DMing it at Rick Ross and like posted on a story. I was like, haha, look at what I just sent Rick Ross. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I, I'm really thinking about it. I'm like, this is a little like weird. Now, if like, you're trying to sway public perception, that that's works. What, I mean, that's why, I feel he's, doing, it that's why he's doing it. I told, but, but this is the problem is some of the base we're having. Public perception versus your own opponent. <laughs> okay, cool. You could look cool to this and that person, right? But to this day, even Drake fans can admit that Push got him with the story of Adidas. Yeah. So, do, so, do, so, what you, so, what do you want to be remembered as? You want to be remembered as the winner, <laughs> and unfortunately, Did rap that? and music is so subjective. Is that all they have is public perception? Savon, and that's just what it is. Savon, did Drake win against Pusha T? Absolutely not. Okay. Should do you think he should make the same mistake going into Kendrick Lamar? I don't know if he can make the same mistake unless he got another kid that he's hiding from. I the mean world. he mentioned I mean he mentioned his he that, did like, he did mention Kendrick's why, wife, like you said, and we remember what happened. Mm -hmm. The last, and I'm oh, not and then a, it got crazy. Okay, I'm not okay, even, I'm okay. 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 The only thing and, and this is what I'm saying about being accessible, right? Is like the only thing that could really, really kill Drake at this point and Karen, I need you to mark this. Like the only thing, because we already know he has a kid, <coughs> right? So you can't come oh, yeah, at him I know with what that. Can kill Drake. Oh yeah. Is I mean, if he right. does some gay shit. No, nah, yeah, I wasn't saying that. Not just gay. Not just gay. <laughs> if he gets, oh no, no, I was gonna say is the only yeah. way that you could really no, at this point, what can you say nigga, about bro as a rapper? If you are getting your lyrics written down for you and you're still able to stand, they would accept Dre if he was gay or bisexual. Yeah, he already, not he if already, there's a video. Yeah. Yes, there would. You not just told me how he's so impenetrable nah, bro. and how I'm, he's he's no, surviving. Let me tell you something. When Let me you tell see you some shit. When I saw the cover to story <laughs> of the story of Adidon nah. as a Drake fan, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ooh. I'm gonna. I want to be very clear here. I'm gonna shit myself as a fan <laughs> because before I even listen to what it sounded like, the perception. Of how that shit looked like, damn! Is that my, my one of my faves with blackface on? Like, and you still bump that crazy. nigga shit every time he drops. Absolutely. So it doesn't do anything. It does do something. It don't do nothing. It does. You That's still not the point give I was him making. spins. That's not the point if I was he would have dropped, he would be the cover of the Alex's new music but, every week. But you listen. So you're basically <laughs> repeating what I just said. I said if he was gay or bisexual, they would still accept him. No, we're, no, no. we're agreeing with the I same point. I was making another point. No, you gotta. I, that's what I you said. Don't be listening, I said. <laughs> It's visuals. Yeah. And I brought up a visual. Vi that's how you kill it. That's how you kill. So that's the only way he's going to be, be but what done. About the or yeah. some gay shit, bro. I that's think, I think the would really can't, not cancel him, but I think that would hurt more. Because you, if, the, I, especially in 2024, no, especially in 2024, I don't think. No, you don't. I don't think you'll. You don't need proof. You'll, bro, like your career is going to fall because people expose your. If Drake was getting. Nigga, he's done. By, by, you just told me, but you just told me everything is subjective, so I don't think so. <laughs> by, by your thinking, by your thinking, no, it's not, because he's the greatest in the world, and everybody's subjective and takes everything. No, so no, he, not, he's not. That's not. He true. can take. No. No, mark that, yo. <laughs> no, mark that shit. I'm wild. He get my blood pressure up twenty. By your, by your core, by your metric. No. This bro. nigga could get DT. He can get anything. It I don't said, matter. I said there's two things that can destroy him, and that's one. That's it. Everything, <laughs> nothing else can can penetrate. Pause. Can penetrate him. I don't believe that. That's the and you need proof. It can't be rumors. It can't yeah. be subjective. And you. The only way you can destroy Drake today Culture is Vulture. those two things. Culture vulture. He's already been called that. No, that, He's that already been proven not, that. No, that would not destroy Drake. That would destroy Drake. People would no, be, like, so be like, okay, whatever. I, I, like, I don't think it would destroy Drake, right? But do you think coming from Kendrick Lamar, it would be versed a bit differently, where no. people would if Kendrick, look at him a little if that bit was Kendrick's like main defense, yeah. I don't think He's it's gonna like. I personally don't think it's gonna be of those three things. I mean, two things that you mentioned, bro. Think about it. Like really think about it, bro. Yeah. What could destroy this thing, bro? As a rapper, 
You have ghost writing, not not alligator proof, my nigga. What if, what what if he strips and what, it's still the top MCs? What, if, what like, if he va- like Valor for him? Lupe Fiasco just said today he is a, a better rapper than Kendrick Lamar. Like salute. there are still legit rappers. I just seen Jada can say how nice Drake is. Like salute. the we real Drake. rappers are still vouching for this nigga with that kind of stain on his jacket. Yeah, if, bro, if Jada Kiss had any type of ghost writing allegations, like come on, my nigga, do you know what that would do to us? To him? Salute. Anybody in that echelon of a rapper still co-signing you with those allegations? Your Teflon, Ken, uh, Pusha T, he exposed him already. He he did the worst thing you could do to him, nigga. You had a kid and you didn't tell us. What the fuck with a porn star? Holy shit! After that, bro, you literally got to see or have viable proof of him <laughs> on some R. Kelly shit. Maybe <laughs> on some Diddy shit. Mm-hmm. Or again. On some Gerard Carr, Michael Tyler, the creator shit. Nah, they ain't do that. <laughs> they they stopped before it happened. Don't you, put that you, on them. You, you, nah, Tyler, <laughs> believe that shit. Nah, yeah, Tyler. Yeah, told, that did not happen. Yeah, Tyler told them nah. No. Nah, Tyler did that. Shit. No, I agree. I mean, yeah. but I agree that those <laughs> yeah. are the only things that can yeah. that can really like, like hurt he's, him. And that's what do you, I'm do saying. Do you think no? Like, do you? I, not I agree? agree with those two. I want to add one in the in the mix. Uh, street credibility. He's never Yo, been no, street. No, 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 you're really not like that at all, Drake. Let's let's calm down here. Nigga, like he he can Ken, make him feel stupid. Kendrick is a real affiliated Pyro. Not not a nigga that had to go buy shooters. Mm-hmm. And again, salute to Drake. Who cares? However, however you make it shake, you make it shake. The nigga told Drake that he's more respected in Los Angeles than Kendrick. Yeah, in his, his own home. He's a wait. No, that was not. for Kendrick. I thought it was for oh. somebody from Atlanta. Wasn't I thought it? that was Metro in Atlanta. Oh, I don't know. Okay. We could be. I don't know. I, I hope I'm wrong. Then thank you. Or maybe, for, or maybe he okay. meant it in general. Okay, but, but well, if he meant it with Kendrick Lamar, I, I, that's I, insane. No, no. I, I will tell you right now. Kendrick could walk around LA with no security. Yeah, no, 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 and no, <laughs> and also Drake said in um the the song, I, like fuck you, I'll wear all my chains next time around you because I'm safe. Yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of, if he meant that to Kendrick, I feel like that's kind of insane to tell somebody yeah. like Kendrick that. Like, you're right. Let's go to that. From no, Compton, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go to that. I, I think that bar was meant for future, because of the well, XO chains. And he would be, oh, and, okay. and, and, and he would be so mistaken if he thought he was bigger than Future in Atlanta. This back to the street conversation, right? If we take, <laughs> if all the like the street sanctioned niggas stripped that away from him, right? Let's say even Thugger come home, he's done. And, and he's and, there. You go, and he and he sides with Future in them. He's done. Essentially, he's just a pop star. He'll still sell. But his crowd, his demo is going to change. And it's not going to hit the same. It's not going to hit the same. And I think that is the trajectory Kendrick wants to take. I, I, yeah, I think like picturing Kendrick coming with his next diss and if his main point is like, yo, you're actually not like this and really like makes him look like, okay, all you do is make your little hits. Like you're not really, you're really trying to be a hip hop star, but look at what you really do. I feel like that can really, that would really hurt Drakey's feelings. I'm going to tell you why like, I think it doesn't matter. And you can tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. When it comes to the street shit with Drake, I think the street appeal only appeals or matters to the people who aren't really in the street. I think you know a lot of people who's probably really in the streets. I know a lot of niggas who's really in that shit too. Mm -hmm. None of them look at Drake like he's him. That's my point. None of them. So if he quote, oh, he's been fine till now. If he yeah. quote unquote loses the streets, mm-hmm. he doesn't really lose the streets because I don't think Drake has ever really had the streets. I think yeah. he's been accepted. Okay. He's been accepted they take away because the acceptance. of that affiliation. Sure, sure. But like you said, he's a pop star. He doesn't do the street shit. Right. So if Kendrick were to be like, oh, you're not a street nigga, like, all right, maybe somebody who's not really street affiliated or doesn't have anybody who doesn't have that proximity to the streets, they might be like, oh shit, he's but Real, real street niggas don't look at Drake like back to the artist. He's credible in no hood. Back to the artist. How offended do you think Drake would be if if that acceptance was stripped from him? He's not. You're. That's a really good point, Savon. That he's not. He never oh, actually street. claimed that he was from the streets, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. he does really talk like he has the street credibility. Like, though. like sticks, the whole drums, no, the shooters. whole like I can walk around with all my chains on. I'm good. Like that. He's really acting like he's like but always gonna be. Good you in know the how streets. we don't believe Cole no more. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reg. Reg but he did that okay. to himself. He did. But he I'm did. just saying, imagine if there was an occurrence where we just didn't believe the shit he get off on sickle mode. The shit he get off when he talking grimy and slimy. Right? I get, I get what you're saying, right? Street niggas, if they rock with For him, real, they don't rock bro. with him. I get it. Right? But street niggas rock with him because he also got that stamp. And I think it would bother him. They rock if, with him because he got that bag. 
Yeah. It's not the it's stamp. It's no, the no, it's bold. Like it's bold. if I if 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 he and, and about, that's why a lot yeah. of people poked holes in his uh shit to Kendrick, saying it's right. extortion, right? Saying he's being extorted in LA and all that shit. Like a lot of people when uh when these niggas get super, super rich and then they get super, super gangster, it's because they got real niggas in their pocket who's getting money for whatever the reason is. Mm -hmm. From that like mm -hmm. it's 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 always an exchange. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. the streets isn't where Drake is gonna die on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you remove the streets from Drake, it doesn't change anything about his bottom line. If you even think about For All The Dogs, when he dropped that deluxe and was straight rap, right. it, it didn't even move units like that. Yeah, it didn't. I see what you're saying. It didn't even move units like that. But that, that. wasn't for the street niggas, though. I'm going to keep it a buck. If anything, a lot of the street niggas shit has turned into uh, like a rage kind of drill type thing. He, he's just not, oh, no, that, he's not that was, street. That was more, more for, like rap purists. No, yeah, that, that, no, that was for people telling him that he can't rap. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It that's wasn't right. for the streets, I feel Which, like. Which, that's, that's all so of the street, the niggas who said he couldn't rap, who was it? Let's niggas talk, from the streets. Okay. What, let's talk about Gunna. Gunna has been successful because of women, right? Mm -hmm. But how was he viewed amongst street niggas, most street niggas? How did, how was he viewed around? Don't fuck with him. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. What what if Kendrick potentially says something that gets Drake to look like that? I don't know what that could be. You're right. I don't know what bomb. I don't know what bazooka don't that think could be. Do anything. I I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Where where people would. It's, yo, the homies is doing it with me, not these niggas. Don't point at them. <laughs> the niggas is doing it with me, right? My, I was, just, I, was just, no I was just thinking that. Well, I'm getting confused they, out here. Bro, they, I tried to throw in a new P. I'm gonna let you speak in a second. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I tried to throw in a new EP for gang in them last couple weeks. Yeah. My son K said, nah, nah, turn that shit on. Nah, yeah, nah, I never nah, thought I'd see the day. I never thought I would see yeah. the day I see street niggas switch up on me. And now look. Never. And now look. But that's because he gets hugged who, by who, who hugged from that? behind that was, the I, shit. Wasn't that his yeah. own fault? Self-inflicted, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Self-inflicted. Yeah. Kind of. Nobody exposed him. He did it to him. You bunny hopping. But, but to your uh, point, but, you seen the nigga. Come but that, on, but that was an old Vince. Hold on, I'm gonna let you yeah, get yeah, yeah, yeah. to your point though. This has been public knowledge, right? Him bunny hopping. It was an old video to y'all. I just found out about it recently. I was right? about to say it just got highlighted. Yeah, it got highlighted again. But it's all been here. Pierre, what you saying? I, no, I was just gonna point like, if you look at that whole thing, Ack kind of like put him into a submission, for lack of a better word, right? And then now, if you look at it, Ack's um, Ack's appeal. Or the status, in a sense, is now a bit more elevated. What do you mean by that? Like, be specific. So, yeah. Um, during the whole beef, uh, during the whole you know exchange between Ak and and Meek, Ak was going crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so he seen Red and was just going. He just kept on, you know, just talking stuff about him, saying stuff about him, and then like bringing people that um, were associated were once associated with Meek onto his podcast and interviewing them, and interviewing them, and Got like you. they were telling them uh, people about stuff that like you know wasn't really known. Uh, to the world that Meek was a, a part of and like Meek didn't grow up where he said he did so on and so forth and now you know because of all that um, Axe kind of you know he's, 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 he's a lot bigger than what he was before the whole Meek thing mm, and now look like Axe um, not Axe Drake now sampled him on the thing and Axe has more of the street um, you know audience tuning into his, his streams and stuff like that so now but that's one of those things where uh, enemy of my enemy is a friend yeah like, it's not necessarily that the streets are fucking with academics. It's like, oh, Ack don't fuck with Meek Mill. The, sh the hood niggas from his hood don't fuck with Meek Mill. So now we go fuck with each other. It's not necessarily that they fuck with each other. It's just we have a, a, a enemy that's in common. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has nothing to do with that. And I think it, it's similar to Drake. It's like the streets, the, the Drake in the streets is not synonymous. It's just an additional infinity stone. Just like when he goes fucked with uh, Bad Bunny and I get the Latin community, that's another infinity stone. And then when I go to Jamaica and do some dance hall shit, that's another infinity so stone. Who's his and true when community? I go to Afro Breeds, that's another uh, infinity stone. Who's his true community? The world. Okay. That's a wild statement. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But that's and, what it is. I'm and, kidding, and I get it. I get it. And I, that's what he is it, a global, he's a global hey, star. Hey, I know, I know. Fucking, he's like, I don't make global. the rules, bro. I'm not, I'm not saying you make the rules because I agree with you. He's definitely a global star. What, what I'm trying to get you to understand right is, bro, okay, cool. If these are all the Infinity Stones, right, that he's yeah. just taking uh -huh. from yeah, supposedly, facts. quote unquote, cool. Then what is his base that's going to stay there? Toronto, I guess. Oh, okay, cool. So now Toronto, and that's a good point, Reggie, you're right. So Toronto versus the world, Toronto versus the streets, Toronto versus Atlanta, Toronto versus all the things, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas, Toronto versus all the places that Drake loves. What do you think that does to him? 
I think I think it looks a little yeah, different. Yeah, I think if that were and to I happen, love Drake. <laughs> the whole street cred, like w- the thing we're talking about, if that was true from him, I feel like Drake really would have an identity crisis. I'm, like it, I feel like he would. I'm, I'm sure uh, right now that doesn't seem realistic yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get that, it. Though. If it was to get if, there, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't know. But let's see um, what Kendrick does. We'll see. I don't know. We'll no, there's only one more Infinity Stone that Drake has not gotten. It's the K-pop Infinity Stone. And we're, gar- <laughs> we're guarding that with our life, okay? Y'all not going to give him a feature? I don't know. Huh? I don't want him to have it. Did you say that? I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I want him to have it. That would be funny. This nigga look. <laughs> what happened? Nah, don't do that shit. She said we. I didn't what? hear that. Oh, you said we? Yeah. Nah, because when he said y'all go give him a feature. Yeah, you said we. <laughs> Why can't he say y'all? I'm literally talking about Koreans. I'm you, Korean. You make K-pop? I'm saying we she, she as my streets. people. Like, she, do you listen to K-pop? Oh my goodness! Yeah, she no, the, I'm, 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 she the streets of K-pop. Oh, I can't. Wait, what I if I know what from if the I streets? Did? From the streets. What if I did? I'm just talking about Nothing Koreans. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just asking, bro. Yo. We still learning each other. Yo, I didn't know this nigga <laughs> even wore like jean shorts and New Balances. This is new to me. It works though. It works I got though. Trash it. I can it never pull work. that off. You know what I'm saying? With the black socks, oh, yeah. Relax yourself, man. Them big Why shoes. Why did you Relax just yourself. say that? Because he's a hater and he uh, wants to get. Are those camouflage socks? <laughs> chill, chill. Like you just what be doing mean? shit and making it. Ill. How do you do? Like this thing is annoying. Gotta offset the gray a little bit. Tight. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> We're gonna talk outfits later. It's fashion, y'all. Did y'all hear this? <laughs> did, did Did y'all hear this new um the baby shit? Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Yeah, hit that shit? Nah, I didn't hear The baby a little bit. Put on that Gucci with Prada. Mm-hmm. Whole fit cost me around 100K. Oh. Bitch whoa, call me dad, I'm a father. She know a rich nigga heaven is waking. Think that a nigga is sweet. Like two fingers, I get to up in the piece. I switch out my hoes up the week. She ain't afraid, give it back to the streets. Oh my God. Is this new? What's your problem? Did what, you what's that? You? What's that nonsense? You ain't like it? No. Okay, I'm the asking ba- you a wait. question, bro. <laughs> no, wait, okay. The baby wait, that no does sense? not listen to critiques because his biggest critique is that all of his beats sound the same. How y'all feel about it? I think it I think it sounds like every single song he's Everyone. made since 2014. Like the it's, dun 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 it, that bass, like he it's it's on it again. That was it, that was his biggest It sounds it sound like Khaled not gonna call him back, but uh but Khaled, wait, but, wait, slow, wait, just slow down, hold up, nigga. Hold up. I'm gonna just play a little bit more. Hold up. I, I keep a good time to whip when you're ready to play to me. No, we can rock out. I'm tired of spam, you niggas. I see you in traffic, just know we gon' hop out. Hitting your bitch from the bed, she in love with it. Too much dick, I make a tap out. I beg you, too much. Why do you keep please, forcing please, us please. to listen to this? Please, please, please. That because that's sh- not the baby. That's AI. Oh. I'm going to play the original. Okay, okay, okay. This is the good time. Listen, you ready okay, to play? Okay. Let me know we can rock out. This is the artist. I'm tired of spam, you niggas. I see you in traffic, just know we gon' hop out. Hitting your bitch from the bed, she in love with it. Too much dick, I make a tap out. I like him nasty. Fuck me with passion. Ratchet bitch, I pull a track out. That sounds so like that, that, was, that was the artist. And now this is the AI that he put on his voice. I keep a good time to whip when you're ready to play. Let me know we can rock out. Tired of spam, you niggas. I see you in traffic. Just know we gon' hop out. Hitting your bitch from the bitch. That's how they doing it right I'm gonna now. I'm going to cry right now. So, yeah. I played that because there's been a leak, quote unquote leak, with Kendrick Lamar. Where they're saying that he dropped the right, verse right, aimed at Drake. Right. And they're saying that it's AI. Yeah. They also said the same thing about Drake's verse when right. it first came out. I even hit the group chat. I didn't know if Drake's shit was real or not. Yeah, I remember. It said, I was like, I don't know. Me and I was going back and forth about what's real, what's not real. Yeah. And then it came out to be real. And then it's like, all right, shit, this makes sense. That was the one with the get money sample? But now, yes, the, yeah. the one with the get money sample. Yeah. And now Kendrick, he has a verse that drops. And he's shooting at J. Cole and all these other people. And I'm trying to determine, yo, is this real? Mm. Is it not real? So that definitely then, fucked up the impact of the rollout. OD. It yeah. fucked up the impact of the rollout. It fucks up me as a consumer having to decipher what's real and what's not. Because I wanted to play that as an example as to how AI is advanced. And I got another one too. And this one, like, completely different. Don't know how I come back this is the every artist. single time. I feel so magnetic that we're Lama? so aligned. No matter who's wrong, we ain't switching sides. So that's, you know, what he started. But now let's go to when he put AI on it. Don't know how I come back every single time. <laughs> Feel so magnetic, I we so aligned. No matter who's wrong, we ain't switching sides. Then we go who do it, cannibal, you got too much pride. Oh, no, no. Her voice is a little bit more pitched. It's, 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 uh, it's pitched up a little bit higher. Yeah. And I know you can fix that in, you know, post, but... Yeah, or yeah. Pro Tools or some shit. But regardless, yeah. I just wanted the listeners to hear that and know, yeah. please don't take anything for face value. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the AI, the technology, 
and weirdos. I think that's. I think it should be illegal to do some shit like that. That's crazy. That's nah, why honestly. people were protesting against this shit. That's so why. When I played that the baby shit, because when I first heard it, I'm like, Yeah, I like that. It sounds just like that. I, I, I had I no. Like I, you had you and you were my music guy. You the nigga who know all that shit. Yeah, I was like, what the you fuck couldn't even tell. <laughs> that like, sound like the baby. Yeah, I don't but like it was it. a nigga in his mom's garage, yeah. literally. Just doing the cadence. All you got to do is know the cadence mm -hmm. and somewhat of the tone of the artist. It's going to catch it. And then put the AI on it and it sounds like that artist. That's my problem with that alleged uh, Kendrick uh, diss track. Because if it could fool me, it could, feel my, it could fool my mother. <laughs> we got a problem. That nigga's, <laughs> that nigga's not about to be calling her, her phone now. All right. And sounding like me. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then put my voice on like, Ma, I need 20K. Or nigga uh, dead. Y'all nigga. Yeah, it could get really crazy. Yeah. I don't like that. Y'all not finna do that to my mother. Yeah, I heard all they, right? all they need is about like at least five minutes of a uh, sample of your voice. Oh shit. And then we'll like be y'all been on here for years. We were recording three hour pods and <laughs> shit. We Fuck. all been on here for we're years. Fucked. Oh, we cook. Yeah. But my voice trash oh. though, so <laughs> y'all niggas get cooked by my shit. This is over. You a dumbass nigga. <laughs> but your mom don't think your voice is cooked. <laughs> your mom don't believe yeah. it. If my mom get cooked by AI, I'm a laughing at that nigga. <laughs> yo, what? Yo, don't call him. No, because it's going to sound bugging. exactly like you. He's yeah. bugging. Uh, he's bugging. Yo, don't call him. No he's niggas, bugging. Right? Thank God my mom doesn't understand yeah, English. <laughs> yo, so, yo yeah. Reggie. She'll yo. never get got, so. She'll it's never fine. get got. It's fine. She'll be like, who is this? <laughs> yo, can you do that in different languages? <laughs> huh? You think you can do that in different languages? I'm, I'm sure I'm you can. Sure. Bro, he if, sounds imagine like Imagine if the dude that was recording it was just... Speaking in Creole. Yeah, speaking in Creole. Speaking in... No, they were probably Portuguese. need uh, your voice speaking Creole, no? Or they mm. could just manipulate it. I don't know. I have no question. idea. But I, again, probably need to tone of your voice. What do we, and what do, we do about this? I think we like, embrace I don't it. No, embrace it. I, I met um Will I am today at work and twin complex. See, Where have you see, been? You playing? You, you, they playing? You nah, playing? You playing? Nah, you playing? Joking, joking. Yo, nobody told well, you to stand side by side. <laughs> Better. He does not better, look like Will I am. Better, yeah, yo, yo, Guys, trust me, I playing, appreciate, no, I appreciate yo, a good joke, but he does hey, not look yo, like Will yeah, I am. Y'all did, hey. did the Drake and J. Cole? You playing? <laughs> yo. No, we don't do the uh, Spider Man meme. Uh, yo, real look, quick, no. real quick. Whoever's watching there this right go. now, I'm a, I'm a nah, point. He don't look like him. I ain't going to do that. Nah, I ain't going to do that to my Yeah, be careful now. I got a nigga that could Google for you. Nigga, that's. Huh? Wow. You see, you see that shit go, oh, wow, right? Let's bleep that. Yeah, you see that? Oh, now he shot. Now he just won't bleep. <laughs> you see how that get done? Not, not the association. Huh? You better stop Yo, back then, nigga. You know, like the turtle when they poke the head, he put his head right back in the shell. Like, like, like snap a turtle. Did the Homer Simpson? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we say all the time. If you got, if you dish it out, you gotta be able to take it back. I can like, take it. It don't matter. No, you said that's a bleep. I'm saying, saying like, hey, you, you can take it, nigga. My what the fuck? You right? I no, can, he I was can, like, yeah. no, but Pierre, you were like, I'm going to pan the camera to Alex, make a collage of William and guys. Comment down below. <laughs> yeah, and he said one nah. thing and Pierre was like, oh. If you think. <laughs> nah, you don't, look like, you don't look like Will I am. You ain't got to tell me that. Thank you, bro. You Thank glance. you, brother. But salute Idris, to Will I am. Idris and shit, right? Uh, yo, come <laughs> I on. I see those that was Idris, you like know? that shit. Okay. Okay. Let's go with Idris. You ain't say no yet. Why niggas start smiling? He was on the cover of JQ, uh, GQ. Why niggas start niggas smiling? Start smile. Reggie, why niggas start smiling when they hear Denzel Washington and Idris? They be like, hey, you know, yo, like, he, he looked in the mirror and was like, he's like, I do see it. <laughs> niggas start lying to themselves, right? Like, nah, I do kind of look like that nigga from the left. If you look at me from the from left, left side, I do kind of look like that nigga. Just the left. Just be lying. Oh, Just be lying. Shit. Oh my god. But nah, Will I Am definitely did a good job. He's. I said we should probably embrace it. Because it's not going anywhere. If it's one thing technology has taught us over the years, yeah. it's only going to further develop. But we can like mm -hmm. put some restrictions or something because we Sci can embrace it, yeah. but there are also bad people out there yeah. who But sci scientists don't want to put restrictions on things. They Niggas like Elon Musk open. and them, yeah. they want to continue to go how far it can get. I got a science homie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Amit. God, what? Crazy. What's his name? We went to college with that nigga. Nah, nah. nah. My gang know the nigga. He from around uh, the way. Shout out to Ahmed, right? Is he like really smart or something? Nigga's intelligent. Oh, period. Okay. All right, this nigga might could divide 344,000 nah. divided by 298. <laughs> like right now. Nah, I know a small nigga named. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, should we, uh, should nah, we mark for that? Real, I do. Shout out to also Savon's childhood bestie, Nina Chung. Yeah. Right. Nah, She's that, probably smart. Nah, that ass. Them niggas be smart as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that niggas got chill on him. Yo, chill. No, you just got chill on him. Nah, anyway. He worked for <laughs> We could like mark all that because I might take. <laughs> no, nah, that, that was He's funny. up crazy. Nah, he got too much money. <laughs> but keep going. A part, of why, watching this. a part of why they be up is their curiosity. Mm-hmm. 
Amit subscribes to his curiosity. And I ask Amit sometimes. Like, Amit. Like O M I T? A M I T. A M I T. Put some respect on my, on my science homie name, for, boy. Shout out to Amit. 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 He just said his pronouns Amit. Put some respect on my science homie right I'm, now. I'm, I'm not going. Omelet. Alright, he gonna what? face you. Yeah, my you? Fault, my fault. He gonna face you with the Pythagorean nah, theorem. Nah, the ear, so my, keep my fucking ears, laughing, nigga. The studio, yeah, go ahead. Alright, but his curiosity puts him down a rabbit hole of uh I, I say it's cool because you wanna take you wanna see the limits of things and where they could go. Mm-hmm. But when I ask him, like, all right, cool, what about like the dangers of AI or what about mm-hmm. how far it can it, it, it can get bad for us, etc. And he only stays on, hey bro. Technology is going to be technology. It's better to embrace it. It's better to figure it out. He, it's like, happening anyway. When like, you speak yeah. to these cats, mm-hmm. they have no care for the bad side about it. Niggas put out our robot, and they still made our robot. Think nice. about that. <laughs> I want you to think about that. Niggas foreshadow what could go down. Mm-hmm. They didn't care. Yeah. Think. But also, like, <laughs> we're doing this to ourselves because... <clears throat> We don't we don't have to make these things. Like I know technology will always advance forever, but like we don't have to make iRobot and make like crazy ass AI. Like, why are we doing this? I don't like I don't niggas understand. don't get enough pussy. <laughs> no, literally, they're I just bet. sitting there just doing this all day. Like, we, don't, really, we don't have to I make bet. an iRobot. Like, but they did it. Like, yeah. we don't have to make robots that like yeah. deliver like your uh seafood boil to your like you don't have to make that, but they fucking keep doing this I'm shit. I'm not gonna like, lie to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I figured this out a real long time ago when I was coming up. And my brothers, they think I have this wild theory. And he gets mad at me whenever I say it. But mm-hmm. like pussy is the common denominator. I bet. Sometimes niggas get too much, <laughs> and then when you don't get enough, and your life falls it apart. It throws off everything. Oh, equilibrium. You got to have a balance. You got to have a good balance. Because it's always them niggas that control the shit, right? So the scientists, going back to the scientists, think about it. <laughs> if he had a little girlfriend, he would not have made this crazy ass guy. Wow, his, his time. mind would be preoccupied. <laughs> he he got no, wild time. if he had a little cute little family, he wouldn't be in the lab <laughs> making AI that's going to destroy the music industry like, <laughs> or the world. I'm telling you, bro, like every time I put James Harden on a parlay for 12 points and he only gets six, he got too much the night before. You have to do the science. Like legit, I'm so serious. It really comes down to that. When it comes to like men and, and, and being productive members of society, it, it, they either get too much or too little. Like the successful niggas who stay out the way, they got a balance. Mm-hmm. Niggas that ain't mm-hmm. changing the world. Or affecting lives, they got a balance. <laughs> that reminds me of something. Anybody who's swaying shit, Might be you side. getting too much, you or getting too, too little. Too little, yeah, in between. But the niggas who just living life and doing real well for themselves, <laughs> I think they they somewhere yeah. like, I, like I, balance, I like like my boyfriend John, he's doing amazingly. He is. Save on where you fall on, on that spectrum. What? You don't know. What did you just ask me? Uh-oh. Nigga, answer the question. Why niggas got so you many? Hear, you got why you pausing ears? all of a sudden? Facts. You I want to know why. Nah, you... I didn't hear what you asked. Where, where you do you said fall? it's Alex's birthday, so we go ask we Alex. Might, let's ask both of you. His what? balance and shit. You said, yo. The work-life balance. <laughs> yo, who Cali going to do an album with now? <laughs> <laughs> what? Nah, because when you think about it, right? <laughs> Rick Ross, uh, Drake. Oh, Lil, I get it. Lil Wayne. I'm sorry, I'm a little slow. He, he's changing the subject. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Lil Wayne. Who else on the, Wiz Khalifa's on one of them shit? Like, nah, because when you really think about it, We're, that I like, album, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Nah, because when you really think about it, that album ain't never coming out now. Right. You ever thought about that shit? I was, yo, somebody tweeted about. that shit and I, I started thinking. I like, damn. Because, oh, no, because he worked with Diddy a lot. And now, you Diddy know. Diddy was on there being Diddy. Y'all ever met Diddy? Hmm? <laughs> you know the answer to this question, Savon. I didn't know if Alex. Man, literally a month before the whole Diddy everything dropped, I literally did such a good interview with Diddy, and we made it the cover of our episode. <laughs> We're like, oh my god, we're gonna interview Diddy. This is so cool. We called him Brother Love. And then boom, I had to take that picture down right away. Damn. Oh shit! Oh, oh yeah. you want me to just swap out the artwork? Because <coughs> your face, you still like. Oh, so no, I, don't I, don't care, like I don't care because Karen that's before we knew everything. So. <laughs> oh, Karen said he changed the cover. He was looking out for. Are me. you shout serious? Karen. <laughs> wow, that's killer K right Karen. there. Good luck, my boy. <laughs> that's Karen. why he's my favorite white. <laughs> he be thinking and shit like them scientists who we just saw. Then you meet uh, mm-hmm. Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> Why you just Damn. keep bringing Why the fuck you said I met that nigga, bro? I felt like one of us did before in the pod. None you projecting? Her? Nah. How the fuck you said I met that nigga for? <laughs> bro, how you, didn't how you meet, meet him, Alex? Nigga? How I meet the nigga? Because how you always come up on the pod, bro? It be him and That's Don Cheeto. That's your man. No, the, I both fuck of with Don is your Cheeto, man. nigga. I fuck Yo. with Don. I don't do... It be you with the good <laughs> nigga, bro. It be me? That shit. I never, I never said that nigga name. 
Never? Never. I thought you was fucking with radio and shit. <laughs> oh, he, that was good. Oh, that, that was good. That was oh, good. oh, this thing. <laughs> oh, oh, you been you been in the lab? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's what the, I hate giving Sim all credit, but that was good. I'm, I'm sorry. That was good. How long you were sitting on that one? <laughs> that was good. Huh? How long? How long you had that one in this song? <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> but yeah, we got Yo, anything else I don't know. The execution, the execution yeah. is a seven out of ten because. <laughs> You were like, uh, you were like preparing. You're like, I, I y'all met Diddy, <laughs> y'all met Kubu Kudu Diddy. No, because they in the lawsuit together. Oh, yeah, that's shit. that's the only okay, reason. Okay, oh, like, connected Lil, Lil them. Rod, yeah, that was, yeah, okay, fine. Was okay, fine. Like, that was a good joke. And that was, they was partying. That was great. They, they was party partying. Yeah, oh, that was a good man. joke. I would, I could appreciate a good joke. Nah, they was party partying. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Nah, my fault. I ain't even did that shit on purpose. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, shout out or or be be wary of that AI shit, bro. That AI shit is serious. Nah, I'm about to send you a joint that's not AI. But niggas was dissing. So I'm a, I want nah for real. Like this is some shit. I'm about to send it to you. This is big, you know? You love R and B and shit, right? I like that shit. That's your shit. That's what you like you be you be into that and shit, right? Nah, that's yeah. But the best part was you yeah. <laughs> trying to hold in your laugh as yeah. you were setting the joke up. Nah. Cause y'all y'all remember what radio looked like in the shit? Save on. It looked like it looked like him. Save on. He looked the same. What are you trying to say? Nah. <laughs> Yo, Google Radio right now while you're driving on the freeway, going What's to your job. Your you're nine to five. Don't use your phone while you're driving. Nah, guys. that ass text and drive. Don't do that. Because niggas got me tight last Don't weekend. Do Don't do that. I got to tell a story before yeah. you get into your shit. Now, you already you sent it to tell- you. I already sent it to you. Good. I got to tell a story. Are you about to tell a story that me and Karen told you not to tell? Dead ass, bro. So I had a dream. <laughs> oh. I had a dream that I passed a sobriety test drunk. <laughs> No, okay. I beg cannot tell a story. Bro, it's a dream. Allegedly. I said I had it. Bro, okay. I, bro. So <laughs> Why are you having it, these dreams? No, bro, because I just got a new car and shit. So I'll be happy okay. and shit. So I was like, oh, I right, bet we about to go to the spot. Boom. So in the dream, I'm about to get off the exit. I see lights flashing. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. Black niggas, y'all know how I work. Oh my goodness, all gracious. the windows down, officer. All, all the windows down. Hide the weed, yeah. bro. I never had a dream so vivid in my life. <laughs> Nigga pulled me to the side. I'm like, damn. I gotta text Alex and Reggie about this shit. So in the dream, niggas say, hey, license registration. I'm like, hey, officer. You know, I got a new car and shit, bro. Like, I really have nothing in my car. I don't know why you stopping me, so Like, I don't know. The nigga looking dead in my eyes. He told the cop my car new. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I thought I was going to get it over. Yeah, like, sorry. Yeah, like, that, nigga, that nigga said my car too new to get pulled like, damn, over. Nigga, like, you got me on the dirt, nigga. <laughs> I just bought whatever. Oh, shit. Nigga, hey, brother, get out. License, oh, registration. I'm like, all right, hair, cool. Nigga. Now, <laughs> mind you... In the dream on the side of the road, the road and my car, like it's right there. You know, the Long Island Street, Long Island Highway. I know bro. the ones. That shit kind of tight on the Southern State. <laughs> I just so happen to dream this shit right on the Southern State. So I'm like, damn, how my shit so vivid? <laughs> it's about to say some vivid dream. So <laughs> the niggas say, take your hat off. Damn. <laughs> Why? Damn. <laughs> dream ended. <laughs> dream ended. <laughs> <laughs> right before the sobriety test, nigga said, take your hat off. I, I couldn't even stomach that shit. Bro. I love how those are Savon's nightmares. That was, that was his worst get nightmare with the hat on. That was terrible, bro. Crazy. Don't get me out of here, bro. But what's the clip you wanted me I'm to play, I'm tearing this bitch, bro. I said the bitch. Oh, right. oh. I, you got to relax, bro. I got you right now. Now, in the, in the sake of um, beef. I knew there was something we were forgetting. I ain't forget this. Yo, as soon as you said beef, look who popped up on the screen, son. Don't be doing that shit. Gerard, yeah. Gerard Carmichael. Hey, listen, One day we're gonna have a conversation about him. One day. All right, you want me to play this? Yeah, go ahead and hit that. Nigga, somebody they hold Lord, nigga, you hold Now in the midst right of waiting for Drake <laughs> disses and Kendrick disses, this beautiful gem got dropped. <laughs> this is beautiful gem. This is beautiful, bro. <laughs> if you love dissing. Oh. Run it back. She posts with a thug. Yeah, with a thug. Caught a bitch phone. She won't come home. Don't beat her up. Don't beat her up. It must be the drugs. Must be the drugs. Need to cross out your plug. Yeah, yeah. What? This is so crazy. Did the nigga just ad lib? Don't beat her up. Don't beat her up. No. <laughs> Did the nigga just pitch? 
we don't condone Hell domestic violence, no. but we're just saying like no. harmonizing, don't beat her up. It's to crazy. diss Chris Brown, that's what we're talking about. It's Quavo crazy. dissing Chris Brown. Like that is insane. Reggie, thank you for saying that so eloquently. No. On the hook? I'm not saying nothing. The R&B, nigga. The R&B, nigga. <laughs> like, you trying to give me the, what you want me to say to What's that? going on with the R&B, nigga? I don't know why they do this shit. Huh? But this is why I like, like, Tupac type shit. That's why I just, like, that's crazy. On the hook. I mean, we don't even got to stay here for too long. Uh, but I just wanted y'all to hear what the R&B niggas was doing. That's what he said for real. He didn't say that. But he's not R&B, though. The nigga say he need to cross out his plug. It must be the drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in the air. I don't know if after this eclipse, what has happened to everyone. Yeah, this is just Reggie, crazy. Reggie, you're our spokesperson from the stars. What's going on? <laughs> um, I don't have a clue. I bet. Well, what was supposed to happen? <laughs> <laughs> because you remember when the eclipse happened and all that? And the earthquake. Yes. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, and then we had like an earthquake. We had an earthquake and all of that? And right. then J. Cole apologized, and then a bunch of crazy shit came out. What was the eclipse supposed to unlock for us people? Because it did some to the music industry. I don't know much about the eclipse. I will have to admit. I'm not going to sit here and act like... I know, you know, certain things you should do during like full moons and all that shit, but eclipse, I have no fucking idea. The oh solar eclipse is doing shit that it shouldn't be doing. Will Smith. <gasps> you seen Lil Yachty? <laughs> Will Smith did some shit. <laughs> Wait, That's y'all man. Oh, Why y'all want to talk Yo, about y'all man? Close the pot, bro. I, it's I, late. I, I'm getting delirious, I, bro. Yeah. Listen, y'all. Just is... stop this shit, bro. <laughs> I know we've been doing like two hours. shit that we, we didn't really cover and shit. What you like mean? What? Like what? Say it, Cost nigga. Not, he fucking the game up. All right. Let's talk real quick. He mm. fucking the game up. Reggie, it's the last topic. He paid allegedly. It's the last topic. Okay. Allegedly. Alleged. Because he's denying all of this. And alleged. He showed receipts, too. He's, he paid 5000 Nah, alleged. That's, Alleg. that's what the lady is saying. <clears throat> the that's what the this, it's an OnlyFans about. model, and she is saying that Kai Sina owes her hush money for having sex with her, and she pulled up like her own receipts. Like, oh, he see, he texted me the Apple Pay, and then Kai Sina heard of this, and then he's denying all of it, and he has his proof as well. Yep. So and you know, he's he's saying this is a classic extortion case. Yeah. I don't know what you this guys think. This is inflation, and, and and he had an audio recording of her. Um, basically saying that she had and that she was basically going to do him wrong. Oh, shit. I just had a conversation the other night. We was in Just Basement, and we had a similar conversation around this because- Fucking up the game? Not just fucking up the game, because they doing that. Okay. But just discipline as a man and as you mm -hmm. get older. Uh, we live in a very hypersexual generation. Mm -hmm. Not our faults, right? Like, mm -hmm. As soon as we log into Twitter, we see some titties. Or I was looking you know for um, I mean? that that, that car, mm -hmm. the car clip. I typed in car hit, like nigga got hit by the car. Yeah. It was <laughs> it was pussy. Yeah, back Stop, Stop yeah. Yeah. Nah, cause yeah. Elon don't care. You know, <laughs> Elon don't care. I just put yeah. hit car yeah. and keep going though. No, you nah, what you saying? Pussy. Nah, right? It was right, just mind, some, I didn't know why uh, this came focus, up. Focus, Alex, focus. Focus, my focus. Fault. Yeah. But yeah, see, this is what that's the problem. It's a hypersexual generation. I can't focus. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah! I just put car here. Nah, they oh, hit. that makes sense. Nah, she's hit in the yeah, they car. hit in the car. Okay, they definitely hit in the car in that video. But um, yeah, I think this is um, I hope it's a learning lesson for him. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna get jokey in a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but real, real on some real shit. I think you're too young to be trying to fuck sex workers. No problem with sex workers. Salute to them. Salute to the part they oh, yeah, play. We're clearly not saying yeah, like no, there's no, no. anything wrong with sex work, but Thank it's you, like Reggie. Yeah. But it's also like he's like a young, like really famous streamer. I would think whether you pay for it or not, homie. Yeah, like, I, I promise you, bro. This is the time where you really want to deal with the women your age. Yeah, <laughs> I promise you, you will feel so much better about your decisions, the the, the experiences you have. When you're 22 years old and dealing with the people in your range, you already have all the money in the world, doggy. I promise you. But see, this to be the thing, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about Dre and Jalen Greens and them niggas, mm -hmm. them older joints, are, they'll suck you off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Right in the oh, eye. Like, look at like yo. Alex loves eye contact. Like don't don't do that. But you're right. They might. They might. I mean, you're not might. wrong. So what right. is the, wait, wait, wait. what's wait, your wait, point? Wait. Like, no, no. But wait. that, that be, yeah. What you say, PM? How you yeah. know? 
Huh? Yeah, who's the old like? Huh? How you know? Like, let's <laughs> us get to know each I other. Speak from experience. Well, outside of Reggie, because mm-hmm. I don't really want to know her business like that. Yeah. But like, how? What's the oldest we ever like? Ex- like had as like a. Nah, you go pod, first. As a pod. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even have anything to tell. I've never like done I don't like, a know really that. older man. You know, you make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> block me, actually. Stop posting your bikini pics. <laughs> like, I'm don't, sorry. Don't yo. Yo, block That's me. Sis. Everybody go like my latest <laughs> Instagram picture. It's really good. That's sis. That is. <laughs> like, I see her every week in person. So then when she be on Instagram, like on vacation, I'll be like, I'm just Ill. in a bathing suit. I'm so mad. Oh, my God. That's, That's sis. Sis. I know. That's why I don't yeah. want to see her. Sis, you know, you only you to work. Yeah. You guys don't. You guys don't uh, don't do that. Hype up my yeah. really good vacation pictures. Can't. Nah, we nah, can't. Hell can't. No. We can't. can't. We hype up all your, and you yeah. can't even like. And it's crazy because as a collective, we just don't do that. Fact. That's called respect. Fact. Yeah, no, no, respect. I do that That's for respect. you guys. No, no, no. You it's different though. Us. You when see. you're on vacation, say my oh, I literally even it's repost different. your pictures you on like the, my story. Nah, but nah, you don't but, see the meat out. Yeah, he's not in a speedo, not like. I don't that. have my yeah. What the fuck? You don't see me like. <laughs> nah, so I'm not supporting you like that. I like John. Yeah. <laughs> like, I fuck with John. Smile like, I like. Shout I was kidding. Niggas, that nigga. because you know why? And I'm gonna answer this, and then we gonna get back to that. Because niggas be trying to disguise or hide behind support bro. as like yeah, like yo, that's yeah. my bro, sis. Yeah, like yeah, if yeah, that's yeah. really your bro, he don't support your bikini shit. That's, that's a fact. If fact. that's really your bro, that's a fact. now if it's a nigga that's always pointing hearts under your like your thirst, because you know, like and we know it's yeah. thirst traps. Like and, you know, we and, supposed like and you have a good time, you enjoy, you work hard to have the body that you have and look as good. Like that's that that's a flex for you yeah. that ain't for me to champion mm-hmm. like yep, girl yep. go do your thing like mm-hmm. you my homie and it's a it's that's a, true it's a part of the male code Facts. yeah like that's the that homie shit. you can't go yeah. fiending out in his shorty likes yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck not even the, like homie? the likes you guys don't even like the pictures no no no. i like all the pictures i might just, no, 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 just, I'm just a, not... no i'm asking out oh, I no, yeah. no, we like, no, we like, you just get so many likes you don't even see i'm asking you guys because i feel the same way where like i would never like like a sexy picture of my girl's man yeah so but do you guys not even like can't do that can't do it can't do okay i respect no i respect that because i i i also move the same way so like you, respect. We show support in a different way. Like I like to comment, like to show, like yo, Reggie, this this or Alex, if he post some shit, like yeah. you know, we we comment. That's how I really show support. That's cap. The fuck you mean that's cap? <laughs> oh my cap. god, why was he? You ain't never comment on my joint. Who ain't never, who, who ain't never comment on your joint? Pierre, please. You talking to him, right? Both of you actually. Pierre, <laughs> oh, continue. Yo, yo, Pierre, receipts coming. Continue. Pierre keeps tabs on receipts shit like coming. this, and I don't like that. I'm a Pisces, you know what I mean. Receipts coming. Continue. No, because Pierre will be. He said something on the pod the other day. He was like, "Oh, if someone, co- <laughs> I only comment on your shit if they have supported my shit and comment on my shit." I'm like, that is such a oh, tick for tat thing. I mean, I'm growing. I'm growing. But continue. Oh my goodness! Look, me and Justin in the comments. He here right now, nigga. Not, not just, just my biggest supporter. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, Justin be really supportive of him. Just, just a man. But yeah, I think that, that, later, that, there's, there's a code in the ethic about <laughs> supporting your female okay, I friends. Feel it. Yeah. So I, any nigga that claims to be your friend, they shouldn't be in like the comments. Like, oh, with the fire. Emojis. I agree with the comments. Yeah. Don't comment. But the like, I also didn't like. I don't. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I, I agree. I agree Seems with you guys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why everybody listen to this? Go like my picture. You guys don't know John. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now shout out to John. Bro. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He doesn't care about shit like that. So that's nah. But he a real one. But yeah. I also yeah. just I know this from experience. Do not get buddy buddy with my significant other. Can't can't do it. Oh yeah. It's like weird that. vibes. I'm about to yeah. make the niggas in the room laugh. Like yo, <laughs> no, you told us like stories. Remember yeah, on, like, pa- on Patreon? Nah, I, go like, go I like when yeah. these niggas. Yeah. Don't yeah. start. You get a, you get a different yeah. side. Real, no, no, no. These my people. Don't start nah, yeah, Your voice got. <laughs> I'm about to, <laughs> about to laugh. <laughs> yo, don't. You know I mean, don't be tickling your another nigga significant other and shit. <laughs> With like, like, like <laughs> physically or yeah, like, like, like physically. Like, oh, nah. Nah. Who is nah. tickling your girl? stupid niggas? A nigga tickled nah. your girl. Don't be. <laughs> nah, nigga, tickle your girl. I don't talk to the nigga no more. Dealt with. Who the Gangster. hell? Was he like your friend? That's your man's man. Cool. Or like, okay, it's he, cool. Where he tickles her though? Because sometimes you gotta see <laughs> no, where they tickle. He it's said cool. that so like the feet. Tall. Yeah, huh? He tickle the feet. Nah, nigga, he over his t- tickling midsection. Damn. And niggas, but that's how niggas try to do it. Nah, we all cool. Yeah. <laughs> I am disgusted. The fuck out of here, nigga. I don't play like that. Wait. He, I don't play like that. After that, he he was still trying to be a man. After that, I ain't seen a nigga. Okay. Damn, you ain't no, seen him. No, I can't. I can't. That would be like okay. So that, I'm just trying to put myself in your shoes. That would be like one of John's friends tickling me. Imagine I'm, that. I'm literally so disgusted right hey, now. Yes. <laughs> like, Thank you. Like you're not supposed to touch. You're, you're not supposed stupid. to even touch me. But like. see, see, people get too comfortable. 
And they think like hey, the friend group is just the friend group and everybody the same friend known nigga. All my man's girls, I dap them hoes. Gangster. <laughs> that me for that. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's like, I dap them hoes. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> or just I don't like, even oh, give hey, them a I'm side hug. I'm so nah, I'm saying I don't I, I do, you I know what look at them. I do the chest. Yeah. I do the hand over the heart. I'm bad. You know, peace. I, peace. Yeah. That's word. Yeah. That's no, me. but I just love I don't I don't I don't yeah. touch women that no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my Yo, God. Please, that, please. I mean, that was yeah. crazy. No. <laughs> nah, but for real. But no, for real. They got to be a certain. I mean, I don't want no physical kind. I give you a, a yo, how you doing? Love? Bless. Peace to meet you. I, I do all the polite shit. But like, if you give me the slight indicator. <laughs> I'm big on that. Oh, it's gay. I'm Dead. big. On, I'm also big on my boundaries. Like, yeah. I'm her friend. I'm going to treat her like such. Yeah. Uh -huh. I am not her friend. <laughs> I am going to treat her like such. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How we know the difference? Oh, you know. Okay. All right. Let the people know. Water start falling. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? I love how Alex was like, yeah. you don't tickle my girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. This ain't not tickle me, I'm on nigga. Don't try that shit. Yeah, where, where you meet these friends at? Not not that are in the room, but like the friends that like that's, do you wrong like that. That's the thing about this life thing, Pierre. God gonna put uh roadblocks along the way. You just gotta know how to see through the bullshit. He's that's very what, reflective on his birthday. They see that? You just say that shit when you don't really want oh, out of it. Why are we talking about this. I don't know. I'm talking about DJ Khaled. So who Khaled gonna put on now? <laughs> um, I have no. Idea. Yo, thirty minutes later, we still don't have. An I have answer. no idea. Uh -huh. Um, this this has been fun. I guess to be uh T T B D to be determined. On what's going he almost on. says T D E. Yeah, 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 I was say T D E. I was thinking Kendrick. Uh, again, like I said, the the AI leaks and covers just use your discretion. I don't even know if there's a way for us to decipher what's AI and what's not AI. Mm. Um, so that's another thing. Also, if you made it this far in the podcast. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't be subscribed because you, you're like, what, two hours in? Some shit like that? You feel me? Right? Alex, Yo. I want to know, how do you feel? Yeah. It's your day. You're our guy. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel amazing, man. I feel blessed, you know? Some good people in the room. I'm sorry. I don't really know how to act when the spotlight is on me. But uh, That's so not true. You be giving good monologues. I'm dead lying. Yeah. <laughs> Literally it's three minutes. You are the go-to, nigga. Like, no, like three, no, no, no. Three minutes ago, he was like, you see, Pierre, that's just the thing of life. And now he's like, I'm shy. But nah, this is fun today. I can't, like I said, hip-hop is the gift that keeps on giving. I'm excited. This has been great. Homies pulled up today. Uh, like you said, TBD. Were you upset when you realized we had the pod on your birthday? Mad as hell. Really? I'm going to keep it a buck. I ain't even tell y'all niggas. I seen it on the calendar a month ago. I just I kept it to myself. Wait, I, was, I thought you didn't mind. Fuck. No, no, no. I love being with y'all. No, no, no. Because if you want to right. take the day off, you could have just taken the day off. No, I couldn't even take the day off at work, but I am off tomorrow. <laughs> it was more so like me not having my birthday on a weekend. Oh, wow. okay, okay. Yeah. It's not that he hates us, <laughs> yeah. save honest. It was like, damn, God, God. during the beginning of the week. But God is love, and I'll still celebrate. Yeah, you got any right. birthday plans? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? They coming. Okay. He's going to keep it to himself. <laughs> they coming. They coming. Right. You got a friend involved in those plans? Palm tree or two. That's it. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then right after the good brother Alex's, I think we got another birthday. Now. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming close, too. It's coming wow. real fast. We got another one of them ones. We're going to go up for her, too. No. Oh, I thought we were talking about Karen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all the same. Well, y'all know that's my favorite. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think um, I actually have. Yo, you brought a cake. Oh, oh shit, that's crazy. Yo, what's up with you? Easy. Niggas bringing cakes and shit. Nah, 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 bro. Y'all lining me up. We're gonna close out by. Mean? This is amazing. Thank you for. Yeah, just just chill there. Wow. Pierre, save on Reggie. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's only right that we do this, my boy. Thank you, brother. It's a, it's I appreciate you, man. <laughs> okay. um, I, I got to say my speech, right? It's for everybody? All right, so I'd like to say my speech. Uh, I'd like to thank God for God. I would like to thank y'all for being yourselves. And thank you for coming here every week. Um, yeah, I'm going to be here all night. I'm going to be here all night, so stop by, get a slice. I love you all. <laughs> He has a cake in his hand. He doesn't know what to do. No, no, he's like, I'm, this is the first time I've ever seen him be awkward. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, he's like, what the fuck this do I do with this shit? Looking? Yeah. So they put this cake in my hand. It got strawberries and shit. I want to thank y'all for... Oh my Wait, you know nigga, what? Nigga like, thank niggas four you know times. Like, people low-key don't like babies. And they be like... <laughs> they be holding the baby like this. 
I want to thank God for life. You got to, yo, when you don't know what to say, you just got to start thinking God. And God, and and because without him, we don't know. And, and <laughs> Sting just getting it off. He just, yo, I know when yeah. you ever got caught cheating, you was the man. You ever cheated? Hmm? You what the you? fuck? Yeah, I know. I no, no, no. After. After. You cheated after. Okay. Once I found out the cheat was done. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. You know And then y'all had a cheat off. Had a little cheat off. Hey, uh, man, it's been a Need to Know podcast. What you need <laughs> to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know podcast. I love y'all. Thanks. Hey, I got a new single dropping with Sachi on Friday. Ooh. It'll be out everywhere by the time you heard this. Well, no, that's live the next day. But I love you all later. <laughs>